Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well tonight we have Jerry Chu back in the kitchen. Doesn't seem five minutes ago since you was last here, yeah. was it? When was the last time? Last month? Yeah? Yeah, it's yeah. Bit. So when you did your facial expressions, yeah. all those were fantastic. Of yeah, box, box of heads. heads. <laughs> I think we should have kept it that name, a box of heads yeah. really. <laughs> Right, okay then everyone, so I've got Jerry in the kitchen tonight and as you know she's always great fun, all our guests are great fun but we do love having Jerry in. We've got Simon who's in the kitchen with us as well, hi Simon. Hi Carol, hi Jerry. And he sounds really chirpy because I'm chirpy because I like the colour of his beard. He's redone it. As long as he redoes it every week, me and Simon are going to get along just nicely. So <laughs> he's worked his way into my heart. Purple next time <laughs> I don't mind it being purple, just we just don't want it any other any of those funny strange colours that you come in with. And all under control, Simon. Right. So today Jerry was here, she was teaching her online class, the Princess Kate. So we showed you the blue one, which was her um what she brought up to show you um about getting the class started. And then she said, What colour should we do the next one? And I said, Well, it's gotta be pink. So here's the pink lady herself, what she did in class. And this is going to be picked up this uh, tomorrow morning because Jerry has donated it to the Seashell Trust, which is an organisation for um, children with learning difficulties. So they take children in and I think young adults in as well from all over the world. And uh, they look after them and they do a massive job there. And this is going to go to a little girl whose birthday is on over there because lots of them haven't seen their family for such a long time either. So I donate to them quite often. And I said to Jerry, what should, can we donate the cake? No problem, we've donated it. So it's going tomorrow. And we give her a name, this princess. I haven't actually, would you like to name her? <sighs> I don't know, I don't know what to call them. I'm useless with names actually. Because the first thing that comes into my head is Princess Mary, well that isn't very good, is it? Oh, I don't Does know that show me age? <laughs> <laughs> she looks more than to me, so I don't know. <laughs> So anyhow, so I don't know what we're going to call her, but anyhow, she's going to little girl. So I'll let Jerry talk you through this afterwards. So if you want to join this class, you're more than welcome. Just because it happened today, the class is yours forever once you've got it. And I was reading some ladies' comments over the weekend that she actually joined one of your classes, actually. She was doing one of your classes. And um, she said, I just felt as though I was there in the kitchen. She said, I've actually settled down, done it. And she said, I enjoyed all the banter, all the laughs, read all the comments, did the cake. And she had a great weekend. So so that was lovely feedback as well so the class is 30 pound if you want to do it and like i say it's yours forever and i'm sure there'll be plenty of ladies who watch the class today and there's quite the, no we had five doing it with you today wasn't there five yeah five yeah did it, and i've seen three completed ones yeah so five were doing it today but normally on the class we ask you to watch and then ask questions and come back and then you've got it when you're ready to go or we ask you if you're going to start and you get to a stage where it's moving too fast for you. you know what just down tools have a cup of tea sit back relax and then go back to it later so and jerry um as per usual is going to do something fabulous in the kitchen so safari animals i believe <laughs> Yep, so safari animals. And then she said, is there anything else you'd like me to do? And I said, of course, you've got to get out the cake lace because I know you all like seeing it. And she said, do you not think they'll be bored? And I'm sure you won't be. So I said, just go through it again. You can't show them often enough. Cake lace, cake lace, cake lace. So that's me done. It's your turn. All right. I'll see you later. So hello, and thank you for having me back. Um, 8 p.m. I've been here since 9, haven't I? You have. Um, it was so late today. Feels long. I was what? Late today. I know. <laughs> Normally, like, <laughs> really, really strange. Really I'm early early for you. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be more punctual rather than super early. It makes me a bit eager. Um, but I do love coming back here every time. And um, okay. as always, always feel welcome. So we have been very busy today with our uh, Princess Cake doll. As you can see, we've learned lots of skills for people who've never done cakes before. Uh, some of them never done 3D carving, so this is definitely the class for them. And the fact that I saw finished cakes at 5 o'clock was just amazing. Yeah. So, you know, even though Carol says you can just watch on the day, you can also do it on the day. Some of them we advise to watch first. Some of them I will tell you if you can. And by all means, it's proven that people can follow along. Uh, so it's been really fun. And um, so I thought, just with it being the evening, probably the other bit, and also the long day too. So let's just kind of chill out a bit. And we'll just do some little model making. Um, and also I'll just go through a couple of the cake lace items with you because um, we've still got some nice... I've got some already that I've brought along. So I thought I'd show them to you whilst I've got them out and then um, show you how to use them. 
Oh, and then, oh, sorry, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Carol's just got the phone on, so we're on to the 30 second lag there. Yeah. Right. So let me just bring out these, um, piece, these little strips that we've got. So these come from various mats. So we've got, um, oh, that's quite a nice display, isn't it? So we've got on the overhead there, and I think, yeah, that's the right way around. <laughs> just had to double check. So this is the Victoriana mat, and every single one of these is flexible. Um, this is the pearlized ro the rose gold colour, so that's quite a nice colour. Um, and then we've got the gold in the floral fern, which I've also used for my princess doll cake here as well. So we actually used it as the base, because you can also use it to decorate your boards. So I've done that there on this princess here at the bottom as well. So can you see that? See that <laughs> Sorry, there. let me just kind of scoot it over. Yeah, so right. it is on the board. Um, it just makes your cake a bit more decorated. So by all means, um, you don't have to actually physically put it on the cake. So um, so that's the the floral fern. Really like this one because it's kind of like a plique design. I flip it all the right way around. That might help. So if you look at these uh, like details, it's stuff that you can't pick up if you're trying to just pipe it yourself. So really good, and you can cut them out with scissors. Bit of water to tap them on, and then we've got also um, Bonnie Baby. So Valentine's Day's just happened. Mm. Nine months down the line, Nine. you might be using these. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so, so uh, but Bonnie Baby's a lovely mat because it's got lots of different strips. This is only two of the strips. Um, actually, this is three. There's three different strips. So this one, they're both footprints, but one has got like solid footprints, and this has got like, the lacy uh, footprints. So I just put it across this here. Yeah, you can see here they kind of come, they come through. Oh, that's better. I'm trying to lift it up, and then he's like, just click the zoom button. So yeah, um, so it's nice, and you can we put one on a pearlized pink, um, but you can mix your own colours. So if you had the white or the pearlized white, you can add gel colours, and so you can turn it blue or yellow. It's quite nice for a neutral colour, uh, and also the teddy bear strips is another one. Um, but it's really nice because you can use it on cupcakes, cookies, and um, yeah, that's better. Cupcakes, cookies, round the side of a strip of cake. There is behind me a little a nappy sack cake that I can see from one of the classes. Who does that class? Oh, it's going to be done next week. So, I mean, that's lovely. I and mean, if you wanted to add cupcakes or something to go with that bag for an order, then, mm. you know, put some cake base on it. It's yeah. quite nice. Even for a strap or something on there, yeah. it's, it's pretty. So, um, what have I got with me? I've got some colours. So, as I said, I've got pearlized white which that one's ready to go. So as soon as you get these out your pot, they're ready. So you can just kind of slap them onto those mats, get them all pasted up and then, oops, uh, let them air dry. So I do, as I say, every time I come here, if you want to put them in the oven, you can for 10 minutes and then let them come out and let them chill and, um, not chill, I'm too chill. Let them uh, come up to room temperature and let them dry naturally after that 10 minutes rather than rushing it because if you put it in for too long, they go brittle. Um, unless you're getting the white ones. But so. there's, loads of, there's loads of people watching. So oh, you're over 325. Thank you. And lots of people were saying that they really enjoyed the class today. They absolutely uh, loved it. So I'm it's glad. Very good. You're always a very so. a welcoming lot when, um, whenever I come and do any classes yeah, or any lives. Yeah, we only like lovely ladies in our group. <laughs> but that's exactly what we've got. What's the so, name of the big mat, please, now? The very large one. Yeah. This one is Victoriana. So I've done it in two colours. This is in the rose gold. I also have it in white, so... I love it in that white, That's you know. white. So you can so really see amazing. these coming out, like the, the pattern's really nice. Yeah. So I, I love it because it's such a big sheet and like I say, you can scrunch that up and you can open it back up and it's, it's flexible. You can wrap it around cakes very easily. So if you've never done it before, something like this is quite a nice cake and if I fold that in half and cut it, that can go around an eight inch cake because you've, you've made two strips. That's lovely. Yeah. So a couple of people are asking when you when you do this, how do you colour it? And do you colour it with gel or with powder? So uh, you you can do both, but I think you use up less gel. So for me, I, I prefer to use gel colours. So um, have I got any white? I don't uh, see any white in your box actually. I think you mixed it all up last time, so Sorry. it could well be in the Give top. One second. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just do a few of those, yeah. hello to Jill and Patricia, oh, there's your and, and um, happy birthday to Susan Richmond. Oh, hello, oh Susan, Today. is it your birthday? Right, well, you birthday know what that today. means, don't you? No, happy no, no, birthday no, no, no. To Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Susan, happy birthday to you, 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 happy birth
<laughs> and oh, Jill, we've done it now. Jill, no Jill made me this lovely blanket that I've got wrapped around myself. Oh, yes. Yeah, look oh, at that. See, yes. made by Jill Cook. There you go. Your friend on YouTube, my friend with a blanket. And Hannah is asking, will you be making an elephant? Are you making an elephant, elephant here in your safari animals? Do you want me to make an elephant? An elephant. Why not? Say it. There's the request. If you want me, I'll make one. I can't find go. the white. I've only got pearlized white, but you can still colour pearlized white. Yeah, so do that. So I can then. do that. Right, let's try it. Do you know what I think we made the white? Did we not have somebody here that we gave it to? Yeah, I think it was me. Was it you? <laughs> right, because I was going, yeah, I, think I, said, I don't use it, take it home. So <laughs> No. I think that because I just vaguely remember saying I don't use it, have it? Yeah. But I don't know who I said it to. Right, good. <laughs> so it's gone home with Jerry last time, we're on pearlized white. <laughs> <laughs> now you can still colour your pearlized white. It does go a bit more shimmery, so it, it tends to be paler than uh, white, which is, it's still going to be pale anyway because you can't really get the strong colours unless you buy those. And they are pre, you can buy pre made colours. They're on your site too, aren't they? So um, colours like black. Black's a very strong colour, and you, if you mix your own colours with gels, you'll end up with grey no matter what. So, best way is just to use to buy them pre made. Um, uh, we've got golds and soft golds. Oh, yeah, this is the gold, the rose gold that I just showed you with the Victoriana. So, if I just get an overhead, I'll show you the colour of that one. So, as soon as you open the pot, that's what it looks like, and it's very true to the colour when it dries. So you don't get any discoloration or anything like that. Is that it's the more or less, yeah. So what you, you what comes out the tub more or less dries the same colour. Looks fantastic. So no no sort of hidden surprises. And then say so when you do use um, a pearlized colour, you do find that they dry more rigid. So the white ones will always stay more um, soft and pliable. So this is a snakeskin one. And again, that's on just plain white. So I have some left over here. And again, you can use this to make, put it over your leather bags or making snakes and stuff like that. Uh, just using it as a stencil as well. So if you'd made that, placed it over a pattern and airbrushed it, you'd get the snakeskin pattern underneath, which is quite cool. It's a different kind of effect. It's lovely that snakeskin. You used it on the black handbag, didn't you? Yeah, Do yeah. It's, it's nice. It's really nice. Mm. Um, right, where's my pearlized white? So Emma from Harlem Horses is watching. She said she had a brilliant day and she's so chuffed with her princess. Mm. She's had lots of lovely comments. She, she's the lady who made us with ivory, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's lovely, really like a little bride. Looks lovely. She did really, really well, so chuffed. Yeah. So it's always nice to know people are doing it at the same time as you. Um, and as, as I say, never get stressed out by doing these classes. They're meant to be fun. And um, we had a good laugh today. I'm still bouncing off the walls, if I'm being honest. I'm running on the <laughs> adrenaline still, and it's been really fun. Um, right, so let's just go and grab some colours to, what well, our colour, to put it in. What colour do you want, Harold? What for? Uh, colouring your... Yes. Oh, right, we're going to have to move I'm those flowers. Wrong, right? Yeah. Right. These are lovely flowers, by the way. Yeah, um, who sent them to me? Rachel Hannah sent them to me oh, last week. That's nice. Yeah. Right, let me see. Mm. Let's so... Go for the yeah. So while you ladies are watching, we've stocked up, all PME is stocked up by the way. So we've stocked that up today. Um, what else have we stocked up on? Hmm. In fact, the website is stocked up and your free, your free part moulds are being dispatched. I've ordered them. They arrived on Friday, spoke to the lady today. They should be dispatched tomorrow, so I'll put them on the website tomorrow. So all of the, you ladies who want the football boot, the football, the geometric hearts, They'll all be on the website tomorrow morning. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah. So this is the forest green in colour splash. How can you decide to do a green? That's a bit no, different. No, I, I think just because I'm doing safari animals, right. I thought I might tie it in. Actually, I don't actually know what I'm putting them on yet, so. And I've just seen Marie Constable. It says your top fan badge has disappeared. Believe you, you, you me, it's nothing to do with us. It's Facebook. Facebook decides who gets badges, and all I can think is someone's been liking things more than you. That's all. <laughs> do I actually know how those badges work? No, to be I fair? don't. Surely, only, only one person can have it at a time, can they? Or I don't. I don't really I don't know. know. I just see it. I've just seen the same. My top fan badges disappear, and she wonders why. But I can just tell you, it's nothing to do with us. We don't have nothing to do with it. It's no. a Facebook thing. What is the mat with the baby's feet and teddy bears called? It's That's a... the Bonnie Baby. Yeah, Bonnie so Baby. So we have stock of that, don't we? Yeah. Um, I say we, like I work here. I yeah, don't even know. But you may as well. So <laughs> yes, it's called Bonnie Baby, um, Jean. 
it's lovely that one like i say you get um i think it is i think it is five patterns so there is like a strip which is the main strip and that's got like a little pram on it um and then you've got the full teddy bear strip you've got the two types of feet and you've also got individual little ones where there's dummies and uh, teddy bears rat um uh, yeah rat or something Oh, let me just double check. Yeah, I can't remember. I thought I had it. Yeah. Um, they got the rose gold is a ready-made mix, and this one here is the pearl white. And but she's going to colour this one because uh, we've got no white left. My fault. <laughs> no, I haven't, you haven't got it here. Oh, there is. So, um... just while Jerry's down there, let me tell you about what's going on this week because we've got a busy week and I'm making myself really dizzy. So we've had the class today. We've got Jerry in tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, we've got myself in Buttercream Flowers. Now, that's the last one that I do open as a group tomorrow. And we're doing the honeycomb cake with a sugar uh, a sugar sheet. Have you ever made a sugar sheet? What's a sugar sheet? Oh, oh the thing you wrap round? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't made right. one. So we're going to make a sugar sheet tomorrow. And then tomorrow, half past six, you've got Tracy Mann. Wednesday... We have a class all day with Claire Corbett. Now, Claire Corbett's doing her beginner's iced cookies, and that looks fabulous. I'm sure you're going to love that. She's going to be using whipping it up and also showing you the traditional way. She's also baking cookies as well. She's going to show you her cookie recipe as well. So that's Wednesday. Now, Wednesday night, if you're in the cupcake bouquet class, I am doing a sneaky 12 cupcake bouquet in that class. So that's the paid class. That's at 7 o'clock. So you've got a long day on Wednesday if you're in the um, Royal Icing class and the bouquet class. And then Thursday, we've got Tracy Man on in the morning, half past 11. Baking with the kids Thursday afternoon. And then Thursday night at 7 o'clock... We are I'm going to do, I'm doing an earlier live for an hour and it's for the ladies who are not in the bouquet group but are going, want to learn the box bouquet. So we have a box called a cupcake bouquet box. So I'm going to do that at seven o'clock. I saw it on the group and loads of ladies asked me would I do the live. Um, so the live on Wednesday is in the class. That's the proper bouquets. But we've got the bouquet box at seven o'clock and then at eight o'clock we're going live and believe it not i'm going to make my I'm going to do my first attempt of making a sunflower with flower pro it's exciting isn't it yeah it does sound exciting. and then friday we've got karen in the kitchen and then sunday we've got the bronze horse cake with uh, with um i'm calling her rachel anna, anna now hannah yeah. hannah the cake illusionist and monday we have the baby changing bag and Friday, we've got the Mother's Day, <laughs> the Mother's Day cake toppers. Basically, you lot aren't leaving this this thread. The whole page is just going to be sugar and crumbs all week. You're covered. I've just said to Simon, he best move in because he ain't going home. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a busy week, ladies, so make sure you've got your, cal your diaries ready. <laughs> Very busy. Yeah, so I'm sorry that your top fans have gone, but I've no idea. I had no idea until I just read it on this post. There's nothing I could do. It's not us. It's something that Facebook does. It's funny you mentioned that. I don't know because I, I think I've got top fan badges for some places that I visit a lot, and I've not actually noticed whether I'm still a top fan or not. I've got to go home and check this now. It could just be a function that Facebook find that they're not getting anything else we, of it can't, exactly you know, it's, it's a trial stuff. thing isn't yeah, it yeah i don't know yeah oops so what i've done is just pasted this over my lace mat so this is um i've just used this one because it's got leaves on it um but as i say you can use any mat is done the same way so the body baby one is lovely um and you need to do more than one strip if you're going to go around a, anything bigger than a six inch cake and any leftovers you can then store it in a plastic wallet I've got one with me, so you'll be able to see my famous plastic wallet. <laughs> What's um, this one called again? It's lovely, this. Are you going to make color. a flower with it, or are you just going to show me how to do it? Oh, I could make a flower. You could, actually, yeah, yeah, couldn't I you? Yeah, could. It is called Fantasy Flower. Yep. Um, so, it's quite nice. We've got different size. These are like uh, petals, so you get these different size petals, and then you get the leaves on the side. So, I quite like this minty green that's come out of mm, that. Okay. So, it, it was forest green, but with it being <laughs> pearlized, as I say, they do come out lighter and it's just come out a bit minty. I think it looks nice. I like that, yeah. Right, so I'm going to put this in the yeah. oven. Now, it might take more than 10 minutes, but I am going to take it out at 10 minutes and whatever state it's in, I'm going to leave it on the countertop until it's chilled a bit more uh, and come to room temperature and that will naturally uh, dry without overheating it. So, give me a minute. 
Right, so Michelle Rush, the Wonder Dust, they are on order. So the order's been placed and we're hoping they're going to be here in three, in three weeks. We really didn't expect to sell as many as we did. Um, I think we had 500 in and, um, I don't know, I can't remember, 500 plus anyhow, but they've all gone. I've got a couple stashed away. And when I say a couple, I mean three of each colour stashed away. But I've got them just in case it's an order that we miss or an order gets lost or something. So if you ask me in two weeks if I've got any of those left, I'll be able to let you have those. Um, Judy Friesen, in Canada, I don't know who the stock is for cake lace. This product is actually called cake lace. Jerry's actually making models this afternoon, tonight. She's making... Um, <laughs> safari models yeah but because she's um, a specialist in cake lace i always ask her to do a little bit when she gets here yeah so it's just like a little quick recap and, and just a reminder of what you can do with it so that if you've got any in the cupboard you can get some out or if you want to see what we've got on the website um there are some available but as i say mother's day is approaching and baby shower cakes are always going to be in high demand you're never short of babies so so Alison Hodgson says, so I have the pearlized white. Mm -hmm. Would I be better with plain white and adding pearlized or bling gel so that it dries more flexible? Yeah, so if you want if you like the pearlized look but you want it to be more flexible like the white, uh, so this is the this is just plain white which is very bendy and I can scrunch that up and unscrunch it and it won't fall apart. Um it just means that you can you kind of dust it. So if you dust the matte and then put the white lace on, that will give you that lustre finish without it being brittle. Um, however, if you just mix powders into your lace mix, it's just going to get absorbed, so that doesn't happen. However, sometimes you make things like butterflies or um, certain mats that you want to wrap around your cakes and you want them to stand up a little bit on the edges, you're better off with pearlized because then it has that strength. So they, they have pros and cons for each one. But overall, I feel that the original white is, is quite nice because you can then mix other colours in to make your own colours. So, Carol White, I know you want to buy the Princess class. Will you be able to do the face like the red one? You do the face in the there. The face like this, this one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, in our class, that's actually the face that we do give you. Because um, we had a little debate about this bog idea. <laughs> so, so this one's one, a bit cross-eyed. The, the, the blue one was meant to be a caricature, cartoony-like face. Yeah. But I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you weren't the only one. Oh, I personally love her. Cool. I think she's cute. I didn't like it. But oh, no. <laughs> um, we were discussing it and we just say it's, we make you a more likeable character where we can show you where to position your eyes and stuff. It's important. Um, and she kind of got a bit of a more vampy look with this red, the pink one because we gave her a slightly different um, just little mild changes like on the eyes. But yeah. So it's all in the class and now that it's been recorded it will be up and as soon as you join the classes you'll have access to it all. Um, my folder. The game controller will be back in stock tomorrow. That's a chocolate game controller. I placed my order with her today. I'm just waiting for the invoice. She'll dispatch tomorrow so I can put it in stock tomorrow and we'll get it Wednesday. Right, this is my folder because I've been using it today. It's a bit messy at the moment. <laughs> So, um, this is the leftovers from the cake class this morning. Oh, it seems that top fan is gone. They've gone. Uh, but they? it's funny that you say that, Helen, because I can see you as a top fan. So, it's, I've got, I can see Helen as top fan, Francis as top fan, Sue Melling as top fan. Maybe they've swapped you all. <laughs> I've just hidden it from you, just to tease yeah. you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all the anything that's white, I put them in between parchment because white will stick to another item that's white or it will definitely stick to something that's metallic. However, if you just use the metallic ones, they don't stick to each other. But again, they're a bit more dry in general. Any small items like the sequins, uh, which are great. So if you, if you do the sequins mat, you get lots of teeny tiny sequins. You do it the same way. And then when they're dry, just tip them into lots of wear box like this and you can just attach them onto the side of cakes, buttercream cakes or icing cakes, or ganache cakes, they all work. Um, and then slightly larger items, I just use a slightly bigger box. This is my mishmash box. All different colours, different things. This is part of the crystal mat. So it's like a you know Christmas snowflakes and stuff like that. So that's on there. And you get snowflakes included, so there's like individual snowflakes like these. So they come out as part of the crystal mat and again these are made with pearlized silver so they tend to stand up on their own so if you wanted snowflakes kind of on the edge of cupcakes standing up this is the one for you question can you mix dust into the mats you know like the metallic dust so if it's dust and only 
dust it onto the mat before putting. Can you do a sample on top? with our new Wonder Duster? Yes, is that those ones? Yeah. yeah. I didn't bring you a set home, I should have done. Let me just have a look at that. Um, so I'll show you, where's some white? I've got some white pre-made. So what I'll show you is how to dust it when it's done. And then I'll show you how we dust it to put into the, light, the lace to um, bake it. Um, yeah, so if you, anything that you've made, store them in the plastic wallet like this. So I've got um, anything that's the same colour, put it in one sleeve and say, if it's white, then put it in some plastic, in some parchment first so it doesn't stick. But uh, that's an A3 wallet, and you can get that from stationery stores. Once you've made them, they last for ages. Right, let's have a look at these lovely colours. I'm going to go for this one. So, that's a nice gold. Right, let me just, um, I've got a kitchen paper. We have down there. Okay. So Janie, Janie, did you buy the printed musical sheets? So it wasn't the chocolate transit. Look up of the oven there because I think they're all in oh, those cupboards there. Okay. So I think the musical sheet you bought will have been off photo cake. You must peel it off the plastic. So when you come to cover your cake, so you cover your cake and then you just lightly, and I mean lightly, wipe your sugar paste very lightly with a little bit of water and then you then you um, wrap it on. Please don't wrap it on with the film. I saw somebody in another group the other day saying that they had the uh, sugar icing sheets. They printed them off on their own printer, but they didn't like it because it had plastic stuff on the back and they didn't want to eat the plastic stuff. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, people you need it. They are quite easy to miss, I have to say, you know, but... <laughs> I think, I don't know, did they come with that warning on the back of the lake? No, they don't, that's the thing. Yeah, you just got to peel be, them yeah. off. They're dead easy to peel off. Yeah. I've got some in the cupboard here. They should, they should come off really quick. Sometimes you just bend it and you yeah. can see it popping out. But one thing you mustn't do, don't leave it out. Because if you leave it out to air dry, it will go rock hard and that's yeah. it. You're knackered. So you only take it out of the packaging once you're ready to use it. So this is a nice gold. In fact, it looks so much like the pre-made gold. So... That's the ready-made pearlized gold. Now this is, that's again, it's a bit more rigid this one because it's a pearlized color. So this is white, but I've dusted it with Carol's gold here. And so this is, I've dusted it after it's been baked and you can see that the color's quite nice. It's coming, it's definitely sticking to it. The only thing I'll say about doing it this way is that when you come to putting it on your cake, you'll, you might get a bit of bleed from the thing. So either you can spread, give it a very, very fine spray with Shell and Shine or some kind of edible glaze and that should set it but you have to be very careful not to over spray it because it will the water the uh, liquid part of it's going to disintegrate it the other thing is to use the dust into the mat so you dust your mat and then you paste your white paste then you bake it and it will set the color so do you want me to do that yeah yeah, yeah. so a couple of you asking about the wonder dust and i've just seen cheryl taylor there says have you released the metallic dust we did, we had over 500 dust and we sold them all in two days, which was amazing, which <laughs> shocked John and I. So uh, we sold them all within two days. So the ladies who were lucky enough to get them, got them. Um, and I've, I've had to order some more. I've asked them to dispatch as fast as they can. Um, so, but we think it's gonna be three weeks before they get here. So um, unfortunately you're gonna have to be patient. I do have three or four of each color, apart from white, at the warehouse but I'm keeping them on one side for emergency purposes and I can't release them until the back end of next week so uh, if you wait till the back end of next week um, if I don't need them I'm more than happy to sell them to you so I've only got three or four of each color I can't remember what I've got and they're called Cheryl they're called wonder dust you keep hearing me say wonder lust just slap me it's called wonder dust <laughs> I quite like the name Wonderlust. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> right. I've just dusted the mat. Yeah, there's a bit of excess there, but it's fine. It can just soak in. Um, and I'm going to go back to the pearlized white. Or in this case, it's pearlized green. So because it's you put the dust down, you're not going to see this coming through. So I'm just going to use it. And also, the areas where I haven't done it, you'll be able to see the green popping through. So that might be quite nice. The tool that Jerry is using to spread the lace is called a spreading knife, okay? It's on the website and it's called a spreading knife. Yeah. Um, if you go to the website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to brands and see cake lace and everything regarding cake lace is there. So you can use a palette knife if you wish to do the spreading part. 
but the cake spreading knife is specially designed because it's got a slightly thicker end at the very um end <laughs> near the handle that bit's a bit thicker it tapers is within a line and plus it when you spread it there's a slight angle to it so it actually helps Debbie Hargreaves says she spread her cake lace today using the proper tool yeah and it was much easier ah see mm -hmm. it serves a purpose so I'm just going to swish over remind us of the temperature of the oven so your oven should be at the lowest temperature that you have which um I can see it at 80 here obviously it is actually you can get lower it's just it's not got a number lower than 80 um and I've put it in for 10 minutes so I'm just going to quickly swipe this off so I can exchange my mats so brush off any excess and try not to over scrape off otherwise you're going to lose the patterns so if you see any areas where you scrape too much just go back over it and scrape again okay so I'm just going to put this to one side and I'm, I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to take the other one out so just bear with me lots of backwards and forwards today So I don't think it's quite ready, but as I say, leave it out. Right, so Anne Dickerson, the colour called pistachio is just the name, okay? Um, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't have nuts in, but it could have, made, could have been manufactured in a factory that does contain nuts. Lots of suppliers and manufacturers now are just protecting themselves, and I don't blame them. Um, but a lot of them, unless it's like, like our place, our, fa our little factory is completely nut free. So we can't have any nuts in there at all. The lads aren't even allowed to eat a peanut sandwich or anything in there at all. Nothing. And we don't actually manufacture anything in our production area that has nuts. But lots of um, stuff is manufactured in bigger factories. But they just just to protect them themselves, they say it may well have been, it yeah. may well have been in a factory where it contains nuts. So um, if you are baking for a customer, I have to say, you have to make sure if they say they've got a nut allergy, ask them how severe is that nut allergy. Yeah. Because they, what you think is not severe could be very severe. Oh. Or it could be that they can, they don't, they won't have, they will have what may contain, but they just can't eat an actual nut. Mm -hmm. uh, so it makes a big difference. Right, so that one's in the oven. So it's been 10 minutes. This is almost dry there's a couple of them where right, like here in the corner you can see it's peeling back a bit so uh, however i've just touched the corner of this one and that's not quite there yet so rather than risk peeling them right now i'm going to put them to one side um we're gonna do a little mini model and then i'll come back to this to peel it then i'm guaranteed this will be okay so try to be patient with your lace don't try to rip it off the mat too soon so let, I'm going to leave this to one side again because I want to show you the finished look after that 10 minutes when the other ones come out the oven as well. I'm not sure what this question is, Almaz. Do you have a class can make like same Disney character what's on the table? Disney so character? We haven't got any Disney characters here. If you mean the princesses like, like this, maybe you might think oh, um, the blue ones like Elsa. Yeah. But this is a class that was on today. You can buy it still and you can still watch it. It's £30. Yeah. Go to the website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to classes and then look for princess cake or just search on the website princess cake. Yeah. So, and you can choose any colour you want to colour it. Yeah. So, you, um, we have several classes. One is the princess cake where you learn to make the carved cake and everything that you see here. Um, if you, we also have another one for facial expressions and that also comes with the guide to colour tone as well. So, you do skin tones. That's another class. Uh, but a lot of people bought them side by side because they found that it helps to do one and the other one. Um, so that's all on the website. So Jackie Adams has just confirmed there's no pistachio in the um, pistachio oh, colouring. Her son has a nut allergy too. Okay. And to be fair, Karen who works here, her son has a nut allergy and she's always using the pistachio. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I was going to say there are some factories that say they have nuts and often it's, it's almond because they um, work with macarons and stuff like yeah, that so it's exactly. all the powder um right so where's the black there? so we're gonna make the elephant i'm just gonna make her a bit i was fine i was gonna make a blue elephant like a like uh, just so it's a bit off not the foot the normal gray but i don't know what i've done with the blue now right so this is um modeling paste that i'm using it's cake duchess modeling paste and i use that today for my class as well 
highly recommend that one just because it's got a bit more structure to the modeling the actual paste i think that this, this set better lisa boo says i made cake lace from the powder and let it air dry yeah but it went brittle mm. what would you do do you know which uh, could you tell me which mat it was that you used yeah let us know which mat you used lisa so Maureen says, Maureen Bailey said, can I just clarify what you said, Jerry? Mm. Do you dust the mat before you put the lace on the mat? Yes. So uh, just before we dusted the lace onto the, onto the actual mat, just dry dust it. And then I put my lace mix over the top. And that means that it, when you're baking it, the colour sets into the lace and then it doesn't transfer onto your cake. If you just dust it onto the, the, cake, the, the lace after you bake it, they look nice, but they might bleed unless you spray it for, uh, with a very thin coat of glaze. So, um, as I say, there are colours that you can buy pre-made. You can make your own colours if you want gold, but want it more flexible. And, uh, yeah, and if you want other colours as well, like we've got the green in the oven now. So uh, when that's coming out of the oven, I'll let you have a look at it. Um, it's Valerie here today, because every single time I've come on this live, I keep meaning to say hello to Valerie. Because every single time at the end of the session, she always messages me and says a big thank you for watching that, for being on the lives, and she appreciates <laughs> them. And I keep forgetting to say hello. I've never it's seen so a I've never seen a Valerie she's ever. Quiet. So um, she's probably just watches watching, and thank doesn't you. comment. Yeah. Well, I appreciate. I don't ever think you. I've seen a Valerie. <laughs> so the oval cutters with PME are still out of stock. They're actually out of stock with PME. I finally got square ones today. I've been after square ones for six months, mm -hmm. and I tell you what, I did get in the heat, the chocolate melting machines in as well. We've not had any of them for months either. So I think it's been twelve months since we've had the chocolate melting machines in. What's a melting machine? Like oh, the little chocolate melting machine. Oh right, little, three little pans with it. Oh, could do with one of those. Yeah, I didn't know you sell them. They're great, hey? Oh, I didn't know you sell them. Yeah. Sell them. Just trying to get them. them, but get them. Right. But they're in stock now. Fabulous. And I've got a new man at PME who's going to help me get my orders quicker. <laughs> John won't be pleased. I tell you, I've chatted up two men <laughs> over there now, so I've got two men on my case. <laughs> right, I'm just making these little pointy hats, which I'm pretty sure you'll guess are actually the feet. So I want to make uh, four. Two of them are the back ones, so they're going to be a bit wider. Um, and then the two at the front would be slightly thinner. Don't know why, because elephants, as far as I know, don't they have the same width of feet? But when we do them as sugar cake, uh, sugar making ones, they just, they just make them look a bit more cutesy. So let me just say something. Yeah. So I've seen that there is a few top fans, but we have a new top fan. We've got a top fan plus one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened, but Paula Brown is our top fan plus one. How does that work? When did that one come out? Congratulations, Paula. <laughs> you do know everybody's going to be freaking well jealous now. Yeah, they might Where stop talking to you. Oh. Top fan plus one. Goodness me. Right. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I am, I'm going to make my feet. Right, so there's the, I've just made a little cone for a body. And then I've made these four little, um, I call them little hats. Yes, you are, Donna. So to attach it, just going to posh it, pop it, posh it, pop it to the side of the, um, the cone. Nice and easy. Um, anything that I make, I make it directly onto my cakes. So um, I don't really have time to make them ahead of time. Or not have not have time. I just don't have the space in my workshop to keep these mini models. So I, I find they don't take long to make, and it's quicker and easier just to put them directly onto the cake. So most animals, these simple ones anyway, they they have the same structure. It's kind of this shape. So if you can master this, the only thing you have to focus on next is like the head, and making it your own. So uh, four cone hats for your body. I'm just going to give them a tail. So tail, I just roll a little sausage. I say little, it's quite long that, isn't it? Top a little bit off at the end. And then I'm going to give him a little black. I'll say darker grey, not the same grey. Well, Lindsay Carnes placed her first order on the website last night, including Ooh. black lace and a lace mat. So she's looking forward to giving it a go. Well, oh, there you go, oh, Lindsay. This go. life could just be for you. Yeah. Hi. Every time I get Jerry in the kitchen, every honestly, I, I always first think do some cake lace, and she's like, "Did they really I, want I didn't to even see it again, Carol?" Last time, okay, a bit more prepared this time, didn't I? So she goes, "Do you think they really want to see it again?" I go, "Yep, yeah, yep." Yeah. So I'm sorry about those of you who've lost your top fans. A lot of you think you've lost your top fan, but you haven't. 
You've got it. And now we've got a new top fan plus one. Congratulations, Paula Brown. <laughs> Can all of you clap hands for Paula Brown? Because Thumbs she's up, got the new award of top fan plus one. No idea what it means. This is a Facebook thing. It's nothing to do with us. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Right, uh, so I've got my tail there. I'm just going to add a teeny bit of water to the back of the butt. And Breda, here. your top fan has not gone. It's there. I can see it. So can I see yours, Margaret Kirk? <laughs> can we stop talking about top fans and let Jerry get on with her den? <laughs> I don't mind. It's you that's doing it. Because well, they're all talking about it. I can't get anything else in. <laughs> So yeah, um, we're going to have loads. We're, we're all going to be having loads of tears in a minute. <laughs> So you can position your tail any way you like. I just give it a bit of movement by curling it and stuff. Or you can bring it around to the front if it's coming to the front of the cake. So just to support the neck and the head so it doesn't fall off, I'll put a little cocktail stick in there. And again, when you have these for um, children, what you can do is make these, um, you can make them ahead of time if you've got the space. And you can make the body and the head, put the cocktail stick in just to kind of hold it in place. But then when it's dry, I actually take the head off, take that off and just use a bit of royal icing. And then it's completely edible and you don't have a skewer in the middle. So that's a nice little tip. So that one's gone in, going to make the head. So an elephant is really easy to make. Just going to get a, mix, a big ball of icing. So with the head, I like to make them a bit bigger for their bodies, just because they look more cute. But you notice with these princesses that they've all got quite big heads. Very proud of themselves, aren't <laughs> <Yeah>. they? <laughs> so, oh, let me just get that. It's been 10 minutes already. Right. Hot! <laughs> I'm hot. Right, there we go. Okay. I tell you, I'm behind. I'm really behind on the comments. Sorry, I'm scrolling past now. I'm missing you all. Oh, that's hot, that. So um, just watch yourself when you come up with your, your laces. <laughs> I've just put it on the countertop now so that, again, it's all, it looks almost finished and almost ready to peel, but I'm just going to give it a bit of time to cool back uh, before I do that. Don't want to ruin it. So um, nice round ball for the head. And then just to make your uh, uh, trunk, think about what it's called then. So I, I'm just going to roll a... It's a lovely shade of grey you've done there. I know, it looks a bit like your window grey. Yeah, it yeah. looks lovely. So, um, yeah, I like that oh, one. Just to let you know, the grey board should be arriving this week Hooray. from from Europe. Don't get too excited yet. So <laughs> then my supplier has got to chop them all up and then send them to me. Ah, right, OK. Uh, hopefully next time I come, I'll be right. picking one up. Eh? Got, what, yeah, got my deposit down already. Yeah, I, got my, I put my deposit down the minute you announced it. I was like, oh, I'm yeah. having that. Yeah. <laughs> So, I love the pink one, it's just that I think the grey one's a bit more uh, in keeping because I've got a lot of grey in my house, which then I realise everyone else has as well actually, so it's quite boring, <laughs> isn't it? I follow the crowd on a sheep, good day. So, we've got our lovely grey elephant. <laughs> Could have been any colour. Right, so to pull out that trunk, I'm li I've literally just kind of twiddled uh, between my, my hands there, and then I give it a little pinch top and bottom of that trunk to kind of create the... Um, that little nose thing that it's I've got. I've just got to say something. Yeah. So, I've just got to say something. Paula Brown, you're not the only one who's a top fan plus one. Linda Miles is. Woo -hoo -hoo. Linda Miles, clap hands. Right, Linda Miles has said, Carol, can you ask Jerry if you can airbrush the cake lace? Yeah, so uh, as long as you do it's a thin film and really like layer it very slowly, nothing to say you can't do that. Um, there are certain ones, so... Um, Spectrum's got some like pearlized colours, so they're alcohol based, which means that you can airbrush them, and because it's alcohol based, it will evaporate quicker than a water based one. So it depends on what you're using it for, but yeah, nothing to say you can't. Right. And Donna Jeffrey wants to know how tall you are. Not quite Me? sure what that's got to do with anything. Um, but, yeah. I am, um, last time I checked, I was 5'8, I think. I'm getting no, old no. now, it shrinks. I shrunk. You're taller than me. Do I? Well, I'm are five, you five seven. Oh, I don't know then. I'm all, I've got um, flats on, so I'm not wearing. Anything um, with oh, a heel. It's taller than five seven. She's bigger than me than an inch. I am. Are you sure it's not the bun? So I'm just um, flipping the nose up so that it kind of naturally curves like this. And then if I just kind of cup it behind between my hands, again, it can kind of form a nicer shape for that head. So you have a nice little elephant head there. You can see that. So I'm just going to give some eyes. So I use my ball tool. Actually, tonight you'll notice I, I use very little tools to make these little figures. 
There's always one, isn't there? What? So I said, my supplier's got to chop them all up next week. So Geraldine Allen said, so ladies, the grey boards will reach you in bits. <laughs> <laughs> We buy them and they come in they come in massive massive sheets and they have to be cut down into eight. That's how big that's the how sheets big are. they are because this thing's massive. Yeah, well eight of them comes off one board. Ah. Oh. So then he has to cut them all and then he has to just sort of chamfer the edges. Right. They're lovely though. I can't wait for mine to arrive. I'm uh, just gonna make roll little um white balls to fit inside my sockets. So I've done um oh that's too small though. So with my ball tool, and yours will be different, or if you've got the set, then hooray. <laughs> um, they often come double-ended, and you can get them in various sizes. But I find this particular one's quite a nice size for eyeballs. So uh, I create an eye socket first with a big side, and then I just put a little one inside for where I'm going to put the eyeballs. You can use beads or pearls. So is it PME that do the black pearls? Mm. Yeah. So you can use, if you can't, if you're not very good with your uh, making your eyes, and you want just little cute black dots, and get the PME pearls or uh, you can use just little balls of fondant so I'm gonna pop a little eyeball in there so we're Ooh, doing this and looks like we've got a couple plus ones Leslie Green's a plus one as well oh cracker we're now we're now sad that we've lost our uh, top fans and now now they're all popping up as plus ones <laughs> Somebody can somebody have a look on uh, Google and search out what top fan plus one means. Yeah, that might be helpful. Uh, just going to score some lines with those trumpets that helps you to bend as well. So if you want to bend. So the lady who, so I think you're called Cool Cool Dip. Is there somewhere online how to make the lace? If you just pop onto Google and put cake lace and then click videos, they'll all come up. Yeah, I think they're on. Aren't they on sugar and crumbs? They're on our Google page, yeah. yeah. Google. No, Google, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube page. <laughs> That's what I thought. Google page. <laughs> so I think you just have to type sugar and crumbs and so then Google, cake lace and you'll come up. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> right, for the ears, I like oversized ears. A bit like um, certain very large elephant with very large ears <laughs> on a cartoon. Can't mention the name. So... Um, to make ears, and you can go as big or as small as you want, but I like the larger ears. I'm just going to make like a raindrop um, shape and then stretch it out a bit with my rolling pin. And then, oops, take it back round. And then I'm just going to attach it by folding it over. So if I, if I fold it over a little bit, it just, just makes it look a bit cuter. Did I do it too big? Not too big. Oh, they look nice. Yeah, I don't think it's too big. Can we make him Dumbo? Yeah, I was going to say I was going to mention the name. <laughs> but you mentioned it first, so that's okay. Right, where's my brush? Okay. So, Maureen Bailey, yes, we do sell the Dresden tool by itself. You just need to um, go to the gem. So, go to brands, go to PME forward slash um, gem, and you'll find the Dresden tool there. Or just um, in the search bar, put Dresden tool, you'll find it. Does it look like it's matching? I can't see from this angle. So let me just take a bit off the top. So with his ears being really long and oh, quite heavy. On it. We've got a new one here. Uh -huh. Oh, ladies, this one's come up. Karen Breen has come up. Stars Festive Celebration Plus. Now she just says plus one means shared, Carol. Plus, plus one is shared publicly. So those people have shared so the live. So it means that they've shared the live. Oh, ah, so that's good for you to know then, isn't it? Look at that. See what happens when you use a bit of Google. You'll get to find out, don't you? Or if you want to find anything on Cake Lace, a bit of YouTube. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm just using my Dresden tool to... I'm lying, that's not a Dresden tool. That's Louise a Dresden William tool. says, oh my God, he is so cute. He yeah, is no, beautiful. he's so sweet. He is cute, though. He's gorgeous. I had to double think then. You know when you said, can you do an elephant? I was like, do they live in the savannah? Yes, they do. Of course they do. I know, I just <laughs> haven't been to the zoo and I've not seen anything on, you know, for a long time. I'm starting to forget where things live. It's terrible. I've not travelled anymore. Like, it's lopsided a bit. Cause well, I'm quite it, flattered it that you're buying a grey board. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. See, That's... I'm conversing these tutors as they come in. I've got them stop throwing the rice and sugar I, around. I voted. I, I put that on the window. Did quick. you vote as yeah. well? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having that column. <laughs> quite adamant I wanted that one. <laughs> right, so that. These are kept flopping. All right, I think. 
what I would suggest because they're quite big. I'm gonna take them off. I don't like them. They look right. no, They are cute. No, it's not that. Out. It's because they are they're not um, solid enough, and it's gonna affect the elephant. I cannot have that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All I need to do is add a bit of tylo. Bend the tylo. There we are. So oh, this stuff is, I oh, know, he can't hear you, it's fine. Oh, right, so this yeah. is Tylo powder, yeah. and, and you can use this to make, to firm up your sugar paste, because, like, right now, you do need it. So if something is, is too soft, it's just going to flop Don't everywhere. Don't Davies sugar paste down there, it'd be a bit quicker. What have you got? Is, yeah. Why is that, what's that one? It's got Tylo in it. Oh, but is it grey? Yeah, colour Yeah, I've got... Actually, you can colour it grey. Yeah, this is oh, it's a bit yeah. like colour, isn't it? I can use it for another project. Hippo? <laughs> you want a hippo? Do they live in the savannah? Yeah, they do. Yeah, <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know. I can't remember where things live. My friend... Um... Tiger stand, man. Oh, yeah, that's probably it, actually. <laughs> They're not... <laughs> See, the first thing I've shown you, it doesn't even live there. Oh, dear. Right, this this is, these are jungle animals, animals, aren't they? Yeah, that, yeah. I was thinking about Jungle Book, and then that one has a tiger, doesn't it? Oh, no, he has an elephant as well. Yeah, so, but tiger doesn't live in the savannah. Do they not? No, no. they live in the where do they live then? In the jungle. Don't oh, tigers live out there? No, no. So they're it's like more living. rainforesty out there. Lions, lions, lions do, ah. yeah. yeah. But I just thought tiger was cute, so he's gonna come and he's been adopted by all the safari tigers animals. Live in India and Asia. Well, do you know what? I miss Chester Zoo, so this is my homage to Chester <laughs> Zoo. <laughs> ah, that's better. All right, we'll try again. It doesn't take long. So uh, just because, as I say, having a bit of tylo in there firms this up really quick and it gives it a bit more structure. His head's massive, isn't it? He's mm. got a really fat head. <laughs> got a bit excited. But I think that's what makes it look so cute. Yeah, it does. I mean, like, oversized heads and small bodies, they're called chibis and they're quite, quite a popular uh, shape. So most of my animals don't tend to look like this now because I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep a certain style with my actual model making when it comes to all customer orders. So I figured uh, if, I, if I stick to it, then I might. It just makes it easier for me to, to to be able to make the same thing over and over. Right, that's better. Pop this on there. So it's still a bit tacky because it had water on from before. So it should still stick. And again, you just want to fix it down with a bit of um blending with the dresden tool at the back and hopefully it'll stay on so that's a little cutie it says can she ask that the gray dorado for hmm? i don't know what that means can you see that question there let's have a look um can i ask great i don't know okay you'll have to ask the question again or, um, yeah, just see if it comes. Maybe it's just a typo. So, um, got my elephant, got my tiger. Let's do the lion. Oh, I've got a little bit of sugar paste left. I can make a little baby actually. Let's do a little baby elephant. Teeny tiny one. So, like, if you had a cup, if you had a cake and you wanted to do cupcakes matching, 3D ones are quite nice. So, you can charge £4, £50, £5 for a 3D model on top of a cupcake. But they still take time for you to make and they take a little bit more sugar they take a bit more icing than just a flat one so again it's the same thing i'm making a teeny tiny version of my elephant with the four hats so simon's got to zoom in aren't you because it's better they are a lot smaller teeny tiny so, so they don't take too long but they can be a bit fiddly so Kit, the grey board is, this lovely pink board that we've got here is a non-stick board for rolling out your sugar paste. It's an absolute game changer mm. and I've been using it for years. It took me a long while to convince the ladies and then suddenly they've realised what it's like and once, once one of the ladies bought it and realised how good it was then the word just got passed on and passed on and everybody loves it. All the ladies who've got the green boards or the pink boards, they'll all tell you they absolutely love them. Um, and then um, because of colour toning, um, we've decided to get grey ones in as well. They are expensive. The pink is expensive because of the pigmentation and the grey is expensive because of trend. So um, I would have liked to have thought that the grey would have come in cheaper, but apparently because it's such a trendy colour at the moment, it's actually worked out £10 dearer than the pink, but I'm keeping them at the same price as the pink ones. 
I didn't know that. I know. I feel like I've got a bargain now. Hey. I've got a bargain. Thanks, Carol. I was a bit miffed though because I really thought it should have come in cheaper. Things should be cheaper when they're more popular. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Because, well, the only thing you buy that's trendy. Marketing. Isn't? Well, they'll tell you if, if well, this is not a popular colour, it's going to be dear. Eh? They'll tell you that, won't they, if you ordered a, a non popular colour? Yeah. No, so, but you know yourself, if it's on there. trend, you're going to pay mm. for it, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. Most people do anyway. I don't follow the trends for a lot of like fashion things but as you can probably tell but for oh, stuff cute. like cakey things I'll, I'll be like i'm on that i want that so andrea says would you let the different parts dry before you put them together mm, you can do uh, as i say when i when i'm working on a customer order i just tend to do it as a go for the space so i don't really have much time for things to dry and at the moment with lockdown and me having to homeschool the children gone back to being a nighttime baker so I, I do all my work in the evening when they've gone to bed and then during the school day they're, they're up when they're with me um so we we i kind of have if I've, if I've got stuff baking i'll get a few sugar models doing in the process maybe just do the bodies or just make it the heads and then when it comes to building the cake then i put them together and add the body or add the head depending on which way around so you can't there's nothing to say you can't do that just gonna make that. So that's the trunk again for the next one. Any chance you can whack a flamingo in there? A flamingo? <laughs> There's one up on top of your fridge. That's really nice. Karen, Karen, they bought them for the Christmas. It. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love them as well. Right. So Sam Officer says, I'm new to this page and I'm loving watching. Is there a video or a way of learning how to do a flamingo? We haven't done that one. I don't think we've ever done that one. I did it on the side of a cake many years ago. But got my legs the wrong way round. Oh, did you bend it the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> and I just finished the cake. I think I remember told me. that. Do you remember that? I think I did. Yeah. It's yeah, a good yeah. job I take it all on the chin, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? And I come on these lives and throw them together, wing it all the way, and then somebody goes. From the wrong way round. Your legs are the wrong way round. But you know what? I would have done the same thing because yeah. when you're on this side of the camera. Because we're very wary of what we want you to see as well. I don't want to be putting our hands in the way that we do stuff quickly yeah. or we do stuff. Not actually thinking. I think um, I didn't have any idea, if I'm honest. I don't think, I don't <laughs> think it was anything to do with the camera. <laughs> right, I've got my ears again. These ones are, as I say, because we put the tile in, they're definitely a lot firmer. Kit Curran said that it, came, it all came out the wrong. It was meant to say, what's the grey board for? I would never, oh, have, thought, I would never <laughs> have thought that, would you? Typos. <laughs> I think I've explained it now, you know. And if not, all the ladies will tell you here. They're all saying the models are so cute. They're liking and sharing. Aww. Like and share. Share with all your buddies, all your friends. Yeah. They're just not in the cake classes. So Lisa Welsh, yeah, not in the cake classes. Well done. You do listen, you, I don't do, you, Cherry? Oh, yes, do. Oh, yeah. uh, Lisa Welsh says, these are so cute. How would you make a giraffe as my son loves them? Okay. And would be good to make one for his cake. Right, well, that one does live in the safari savannah doesn't it so we can add a little giraffe next let's do that Aww, next. what's that, that Lisa? see you're giving you don't nine. ask you don't get that's it is it that you're it? get a giraffe hey i say we're hey i've only done one animal at the moment i've only done, done a few by this time oh yeah 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 yes. so just because he's a bit smaller i'm just going to give him little dot eyes so the kit so kit the boards are only on on deposit Ooh. only at the moment ladies are reserving them they are £110, but you pay a £25 deposit on the website um, to reserve it. Some ladies have paid several other £25 deposits because they wanted to pay off a little bit each month. Um, when they come in, we'll contact everybody with what their balances are, and then people just pay the balances. Oh, in. that's nice. Right, let me just go wash my hands, and then I'm going to come back and we'll make a giraffe. So in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen here, we're going to have a pink board for um, one, one of our lives. We're going to alternate them. So we're going to have a grey one and a pink one. And we're also bringing out the smaller size as well and a few other things with it. I just haven't listed those yet. I just thought I'll wait till everything arrives. Will there be a course for just making the animals at some point, please? So many people love them. Ah. Uh, will there be a course for making the animals at some point, please? So many people love them at the moment. It would be nice to learn some new ones. Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> no, she can put it on her list. She's got to get her. She's got to get her bodies and limbs done first. So she's done her um, facial expressions. That's a great class if you want to learn. Want to learn how to? Where, where are those faces gone? They're on the face. Got them all over the shelf. Um, oh, let's 
grab the box. Oh gosh, I don't want to yeah. knock the rewards off that. Anyway. Yeah, right. So I've just set it overhead. You can see the, the these are the ones we actually made in class. Oh, with a few others. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, we go through skin tones, we go through different expressions, how to make them. And each time we make one, we start off simple, then we kind of develop them a little bit more so that you get a little bit extra every time you make a new model. So it's progressive. Um, and then obviously once we've made these ones, you can take that information and take it through to the princess cake. And then we are going to launch the bodies cake. So I've got bodies behind me. And that's the second part. Oh gosh, there we go. Right. And bodies are here. Ignore the horse and the um, and the cow. Yeah. That's what she did on the last line. Yeah, and we were very rushed that day. <laughs> so uh, and ignore these because they're my babies that, that my children made those. But it just proves that whatever if they can make it, you can make it. So the ones behind, like the lady here sitting on the haystack, the standing man and the lady, the little girl there sitting down uh, with a leg up. She, those are the ones, it's that kind of body structure that you'll be learning to make in the class. Um, and again, you'll notice me doing this live right now. Um, there are, I can still see some imperfections on it, but it's mainly because we haven't got the time frame to let things set a bit more. Oops, I'll pop that back. So when we do the classes, what will happen is obviously we space it out a bit longer. You have drying times in between uh, and it's, it's done in a more orderly fashion. So you end up with much better quality models at the end of it so i always say like don't judge me on just this one live on its own they never they never turn out quite as nice as the ones that actually make for customers <laughs> so let's make that giraffe so a uh, good question here when ordering the degree board and you're paying the deposit do you pay the shipping no select click and collect okay I feel like one of those, balloon, those clowns Rachel. making a balloon animal. Eh? Um, I feel like a one of those clowns making a balloon animal. <laughs> so we start blowing up this bit. Start blowing up and making a long neck. So again, I start off with a ball for the giraffe. And then I'm going to taper the neck by just putting it between the ends of my hands here. And then just twiddle and keep going. And then you can make it your neck as long as you want. But obviously you don't want it too long. It depends on how um, long your skewer is or your dowel. So because it is a giraffe, you'll need a dowel. Um, I have got, have you got any dowels? Yes, in the cupboard there. All right, let me just go grab one. Right. Uh, Don't ask me which cupboard they are, I've got to guess. Are they there on the shelf? I've got, oh, that's a, that's straw. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Can I use one of these? Yeah, you can use one there, go right. on. it's, just a, it's just a paper straw, but it's it sells straws as well. does the same thing. It's nice, got little pink crowns on them. They sell everything. Is there anything okay. you don't sell? We do. Everything. Right, so that's my body. Actually, do I want that one? No, I want, I want it to match these ones. So keep them a bit more upright like that. And then what you do is you thread your straw through a cocktail stick. So I find if I use a cocktail stick first, it helps to guide kind of making a hole. <laughs> Debbie Algrey says, she's sure Peppa Pig lives in the jungle. <laughs> that's coming up next. <laughs> right, that's gone through. So I'm just going to wiggle the neck a bit more to thin it out a bit because you don't want them to have too fat a neck. And again, uh, depending on what you're making it on, we don't want to go overboard with the neck. Now if you're making it and you're putting this on the side of the cake, it's quite nice to kind of angle it so that the neck touches the side of the cake if you're worried about it falling over. It shouldn't do, but it's just in case it does. So for this one, let's do the legs. And I need to cut that. Yeah. Looks potchy. So again, if I wanted to make it more like their shape, then I kind of just want to make the base a bit longer. So that I can just give them a wiggle there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Looks more like a bottle now. Bottle shaped giraffe. That looks good. So yeah. a couple of you have just asked about, you saw my world map on the wall yesterday. Took Jerry in to have a look at it today, no, isn't it great? Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> I tried to take Simon in before, but he never came, did he, Simon? No. <laughs> so I'm still saying up. Uh -huh. So my world way. map is, so uh, just let me tell you about it because I know so many of you asked. The website is called Enjoy the Wood. Not Enjoy the World, Enjoy the Wood because they are made of wood. And um, there's a 2D and a 3D. Mine is a 2D 
and mine's the extra large so I know lots of you were asking questions yesterday so I've finished putting it all up and I've started have it, adding the flags to it now. John doesn't like it with the flags, but I do. What do you, do you think? Do you know what? I like the flags. I like the colour, but do you know what it's missing? What? A boat and a plane. You need yes. to see where so it's got you direction. Get, you get boats and aeroplanes with it as well, which we've not put up yet. Um, and John doesn't want them going up either, but I think they should go on, do you? <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> Sorry, I like them. I think they look nice. I, it's nice to know, think that you're going to travel there and it shows you how yeah. you're going to travel. How would you prefer to travel? Do you, do you like boats or do you like planes? Planes. I think it's quicker, isn't it? Yeah. What's the furthest you've ever travelled, like hours wise? Australia. Is that 24 hours then? Yeah, done it in 24 hours. Oh, that's a long way, isn't it? Yeah. My furthest is, I think, 14 hours to Hong Kong. Mm. I'm not doing longer than that. <laughs> I tell you what scares me is that new plane where you can go 17 hours to Perth. Is it from London to Perth in 17 hours? They're not like Concord then. Hey, that scares me. That does. Is it Perth's the, fur that the nearest bit to Australia it can get to. Right. But, you know, like back in the day when Concord was around, that was yeah. the fastest, wasn't it? And then yeah. they got rid of that. Don't know why. Right, so th this uh, the Everybody was crushed bit. and couldn't stand up when they got out. <laughs> <laughs> just bent over. Brains went to their feet <laughs> or at the back of the plane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to pop some pads on the end as their little hooves. This is just Teddy Bear Brown, it's Renshaw. The rest is, the yellow is actually uh, Kate Duchess again. I just coloured it with some yellow uh, um, food colouring. So again, I've gone for gel colours because you get the stronger colours out of gels. So uh, same thing with the giraffe. I'm just putting, um, it's way too long, uh, just do, doing those same hats, my pointy hats. And put one there. And at this point, as you can say, the, the figure itself is more or less uh, quite easy to grasp how to do that that model. You're just kind of pulling that bits. That's not wrong size. He looks like he's had a few too many pies, doesn't he? <laughs> so um, Jerry is using sugar paste, but she's actually using the Cake Duchess modelling paste. To yeah. be fair. And she's so added some um, Tylo for it, not all of one. it, just for the ears. Yeah, it's a ty um, elephant. It's premium modelling paste, which means it's a bit more. Sorry, I keep turning it the wrong way. Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry, you're chasing me. Um, so it, it's, I think that it comes out more like a modelling paste, so it, it holds its shape a bit more. Nothing wrong with normal sugar paste. It's just that it's what you prefer working on, on for different projects. And again, when you do my classes, I explain those in full, and I can tell you the best ones to use for every project uh, that's just based on experience so Gillian gets to say she's loving these animals especially the elephants yeah it's, it reminds her of her visit to Kenya when she went on a safari oh wow I'd love to go on a safari I don't think I'm brave enough if I'm being honest and I can't handle the heat so that that wouldn't I'd never be able to go basically so I'll be topping up the chocolate tomorrow um I might yeah I should be topping up the chocolate tomorrow Oh, I didn't get a chance to do it today if I'm really honest. I've decided busy. to take I've decided to take Saturdays and Sundays off. I was gonna finish at five but I actually didn't work this Saturday at all. And um I have not moved from my computer at all today ever. No. So I think I popped in the kitchen here for a quick five minutes. Yeah, I thought you were staying at first and then no. you just went again. Gone. Gone. Um so I've just given him little pads on the end to make hooves and put a little knife through the feet so they've got the hoofy look. And then um, when it comes to making the patches for the giraffe, you can just kind of make random dots. Ooh. If you've got cutters, you could use cutters for this. Or how nice would it be to get a small love heart cutter and kind of cut little love hearts everywhere and shape those. So I just go quickly. Giraffes have kind of squarish patterns anyway, so make them all different patterns. Or if you want, you can um, colour them in. Paint them in. So these fat tail pens, sorry. Yeah. Gonna use a purple one. So a few of you ladies are asking, can you watch this again? Yes, of course. All you have to do when you finish this live is or whenever you want to go and watch it again, go to our YouTube channel, which is Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles. And when you go over there, just put in the search name Jerry Chu. Spelt G E R R Y Chu C H I you and done. then uh, <laughs> and then all her all the videos that Jerry's done for sugar and crumbs will actually come up. 
Yeah. So and it's nice if you subscribe to our channel because then you can ping it for notifications. And like some ladies are doing here tonight, they watch it on YouTube and comment on Facebook. Yeah. It's handy though because it's something you can always look back to as well if you're doing a project that week and you think, oh, I remember someone doing it. And Geraldine Allen, you're not getting me into trouble tonight with those types of questions. Should I be asking what questions? She wants to know, am I going anywhere in Donegal on the map? Oh, where's that? Uh, the island? You don't even want to know. All oh, right. <laughs> Did you not hear the conversation the other week? No, I missed oh, it. Oh, we've start it off again. John will be in here. Slapping us around. You came in last it week. Off again, Carol. I haven't started it off again. That Geraldine Allen started it off again. She wants to know if it's on our map. So Geraldine's a really cheeky aren't she? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I've just used a fat towel pen to put some patches on the end, which you can do um, better off doing one with a bit drier so that you're not squishing it. But they come in lots of different colours. I've got um, sky blue, royal blue, yellow, lilac, black. There's also white. There's, there's tons of colours actually and again you can buy these on the website but sometimes if you just want quick projects these are quite nice they're just like felt tits but they have um brushes on the end of them so they're i find them easier to paint with so just pop these last few on here and then we can move on to the head oh i've put one on there neck looks a bit bare right so just whilst He's on, I'm just going to scoot him off this. <gasps> Don't stick. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to stick. Mm -hmm. Pop him on the end there. It's looking good. And looking then we're going to make the head. So again, um, just because he's got a neck that's quite long, what you, ideally what you should do is let the he make the head, but let it um, dry up a bit first and give the neck time to dry up before you add it on. However, for time purposes, we just got to plow on. So it, it might mean that by the end of this session, you'll see the neck kind of disappearing and you might have a shorter <laughs> neck. But um, if you left it like that and then put this on afterwards when it's dried, it, you won't have that problem. So for the uh, giraffe head, what I like to do is make a, uh, like an oval shape and then just make a line in the middle. That's where the nose will be. Put my normal holes in like this. Bit of white. Put that in there. Got awful quiet. Pardon? Got awful quiet. And they're all paying attention. I know. There you go. And then a bit of black. So when I did the tiger, I gave him black pupils for the eyes, but then the actual stripes I used a dark grey. Just because they look cuter for children's cakes when they're not too salt like you know, you can either go pastel shades or you can go very bright. So I do a bit of an in-between. So I do like the bright colours too. Right. Oh, and yes, if you've not known by now, all my animals are also bog-eyed. I like the cross-eyed look. I think they're cute. But you don't have to do it this way. And um, give him some nostrils. Oh, actually, I want to give him a different colour, no, nosy thing. What do you call it? A, a, a muzzle? The what? The, you know, the bit in front of the, the muzzle. Like, a muzzle. It, yeah. yeah, it's a muzzle. So... I've just responded to somebody and put nice girl. It should have said nice four. I'm just going to correct my... Thing there. Nice four. She said, "Will those pens be nice for colouring oh, in? Right, you know when sorry. you're doing the lettering on your boards and stuff." Yeah. So I've just said they'd be nice for the cookie size ones, the small ones. Yeah. Yeah. But I put nice girl instead. So Jenny, sorry about that, but I didn't mean nice girl. I meant nice four. The very small um, stamps, the cookie ones. We've got a new product coming out soon, ladies. So I've had a company contact me today. They've had it patent. They've, had, they've got it patent pending, and um, it's for a la lady called Bridget actually, who's designed it, and um, it's going to be showing you how to make the how to cover your cake in ganache really very very easily. Hmm. I'm interested. Yeah, very easy. So we're all going to have super sharp edges ganache made easy. So I'm hoping that's going to arrive um, next week. We'll have to see because it's coming um, from abroad. So I don't know how quick it will get through custom customs. Right. That's good. I'm right, just going to give an open smile and stick the tongue in there. If you kind of turn it back up again, it looks cute. So just whilst we've got him here, I'm just going to pop him back on my board. It's sticking to that, but not to this. So... Let's keep him on here. And then I'm just giving some ears. So for ears, 
what we do is just make a little raindrop again like this make sure that they are a similar size because I do everything freehand I never measure stuff I just go by eye and I've got weird eyes so sometimes it just looks <laughs> bigger it, when it, you don't see it until you put it on a face or put it on something it looks a bit bigger on, on one side right somebody else has got their words muddled up here so uh, Samara says can you open his mouth with his young out? But I think she means his tongue out. <laughs> yeah. But you've already done his I've tongue done out. I've so, there you go. <laughs> right. So all I'm going to do is use the ball tool to kind of push this onto here. Giraffes have blue tongues. Yeah. They? They do. Well, it's bluish black, isn't it? Right. It's to stop them burning in the sun. Apparently. So I just use my ball tool to rub it onto the side of the ears here, and that'll attach it. Oh, it's a cutie. It is cute. Yeah. Very cute. And if you want him to have eyebrows, you can have teeny eyebrows, so. And she's done a great job, Jerry, tonight, hasn't she? I think I've earned it this week. Yeah, but it's compared to last month. Nine, Jerry. Well, it's a shambles last month if you saw me last month and I was like, okay, no. we're left away. But, oh my goodness. It was all very see? good. It just went a little bit wrong at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Things went a bit pear shaped. The Let very just... strange looking horse thing that we yeah. had. The cow I... was really cute. What happened was I used to pour the Saracino and I thought I'll just use something else and um, it didn't suit the purpose of the job which is why it's really important to use the right sugar paste um, rather than rush a project. Because you do find, rather than stress yourself out, you'll end up get, doing a better job the first time around if you have the right tools. Isn't that cute that? Right, let's give it How those horns. So just to make the horns, I'm going to make little um, holes in the top of the is head. Is there any chance you can sort of bring it on screen for everyone? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hugging him all to myself. <laughs> right, there you go. So to make the horns, I'm just going to make a little hole and pop those in there. So because I've made the hole, it makes it easier to slot it in. Like that. And you can add water. Valerie says you always do it. Uh, Val <laughs> that's the Valerie. Yes. Valerie Swarbrick. There you go. Oh, I, I know Valerie. Yeah, sorry. Why did I not think? It's only said, yeah, so it's Valerie <laughs> Swarbrick. Yes. No, she does. She comments a lot. So Jerry always does a fantastic demonstration. And I, I was Sorry, saying, Valerie. So lovely. Saying oh, I don't yeah. know any Valerie's, of course I know you. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> and she's a top fan as well. Yeah, but how many lives have I done? And tonight's the only night where I remember to say hello. <laughs> so I feel bad. Right, let's get this on here so it doesn't stick to my hands. Got top fans on here. Don't know what's going on. Oh, it's lovely. Thanks for sticking by. Yeah. Let's say nothing else to do tonight, is there? So you might as well come and see us. Have a little chin wag and whatnot. So there we go. Jackie Marston said it would have taken her all day to make these. Ah, so anybody well. who wants to make these, all you've got to do is go to um, YouTube tomorrow or when you've got some time. Yeah. And uh, just go back and rewind. Yes. This will be the this will be Ta top of our lives actually. Isn't that cute. Isn't that cute? That yeah. beautiful. So um, what do you want me to make next? Lion. Should we make? do a lion? Should we do a lion? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, you may as well crack them out, Jane. Go on then. And <laughs> then we'll, after we've done the lion, I'll quickly jump on the cake list. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a lion down flamingo. <laughs> I haven't got the I haven't got the structure today. Could you not do one so it's a lion down so that they could then stick it to the side of the cake? Yeah, yeah, you can do. You could yeah, do that yeah, one. Really. Just have to keep looking at that fridge and say, that's up there. <laughs> um, what am I making? So his legs are out where they are, don't they? Yes, because that's a proper stru like sculpture that someone's yeah. paid money for. <laughs> Can't be getting that wrong. Right, so again, remember, we're just starting off with our little uh, raindrops first. So if you do it a, slight, a little bit taller, then obviously if it, has, if it sinks a tiny bit because of the weight of the head, it's not going to be too obvious. So I'm going to pop him at the back and stick a cocktail stick in. So your cocktail stick should poke out a little bit so that you've got um, space for the head to rest. Sorry, this has annoyed me. Let's just push that down a little bit. Um, yeah, so you want to, you've got to have a bit sticking out so that the head's got somewhere to sit, otherwise it's just going to fall off. So again, same thing uh, with the legs. Although this time, when I do the legs for the uh, big cats, start off with your tapered sausage instead of the, the pointy hat. And the tapered sausage stuff looks like this, and then all I do is pop my finger there on the end of the so the end of the fat bit, and then just kind of bend this up. And if I kind of just give it a little rub on the table, it gives you a foot. They love all the animals. So it's a cute little foot. Which one's your favourite so far? Is it still the elephant? I'm going to give him some. Well, I like them all, but I think the elephant's my favourite. Mm -hmm. He looks really like Dumbo and cute. 
Does anyone remember Lambert the Sheepish <gasps> Lion? Yes, Lambert. I love Lambert. Did you watch it? It's like the best little. It's on Netflix. Remember. Like it was. was a, it, it was on? a lion, and he was abandoned. I think. No, the stork dropped him off with the sheep, and, right. and then he grew up. But the, the other sheep found him an oddball and didn't like him. And then a wolf comes, and he obviously saves the day, and right. he becomes the. Uh, it becomes accepted. But yeah. it's a really nice little short story. Oh. Yeah, I used to watch that. So we've been asked for a teddy bear, but it's teddy bears in the teddy. savannah. No, no, but... I've only just found a sun bear. Eh? Where's the sun bear, Lynn? <laughs> where, where do sun bears live? Just check it. Where's teddy bears, then? Where? In the woods. <laughs> well, mountains, aren't they, sort of thing. But not to say you can't have one, obviously. I don't mind making one. We'll just pretend. Listen, there's there's a tiger been, in here. We're I've all about Chester Zoo with Jerry. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> <Teddy bears. laughs> well, Chester Zoo sa- it's sectioned off into different zones, isn't it? Yeah. But we just go round willy nilly yeah. wherever we want to go. <laughs> we can follow the crowd like, oh, it's too busy now. We'll come back later to the store. We'll go over to the monkeys. Oh, monkey! I've not done monkeys, a monkey. Yeah, monkey. Yeah, yeah, monkey. That's nice. Are also not in the savannah, are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're... right. Let me just pop a pad on the end of his foot. Don't have to do. Can this, you do a sloth? A sloth? Yeah, I can do a sloth. Do you want me to just hang on um <laughs> just, just see how much time we've got? Yeah, okay. So these were meant to be savannah animals, by the way. They've just turned into a, <laughs> it's turned into a zoo now. We're a sanctuary. So, as I say, I like to make the paws a bit fatter. Oh, for and will your legs be dry yet? Yeah, I'm going to get to that. <laughs> I was going to do that after this lion. Um, Beverly Cousin says she doesn't remember... The lion we were talking about before. Oh, right. But she does remember Clarence the cross-eyed lion. <laughs> I don't remember the cross-eyed one, but now that you said it, I'm going to go Google. That's that might be up my screen. Jackie Jackie Pemple. Pemple. isn't it? Pardon? Daktari. I think so, yeah. I don't I remember. remember it. Jackie Penfold says they're so cute and you always make such brilliant characters and you make it look oh, so thank easy. Thank you very much. Right. Like I say, it's just about practice and knowing the know-how. But you can do it too, so... Take some time. Yeah, just tomorrow. I'm, I'm rushing this. Yeah, when you're ready, just sit down, relax, get YouTube up, yeah. and follow this live again. And just Stop, pause. pause. Yeah. So when you do when we do classes, everything's done at live uh, in live time, and there's no uh, nothing's prepared in advance really. So what you see is what you get. When I make a mistake, you see the mistake, but you also see how I correct the mistake, which is really important. Um, it's not just about making a finished product; it's about how to troubleshoot when you come across something. So we are classed as professionals, but that's we're not we're far from perfect. Right, so there's our body. So he's cute. As I say, same thing, I'm just gonna pop him in the back. And let's do the head. Now I do like my lion because I give him a nice little curly haired mane and it's the it's the mane that makes me um brings me a bit of joy when I'm making these. He's quite a popular one for me. So give him a round head. There we go. The so when you're rolling, if you cup your hands together, into, it'll make the ball a bit rounder and less, um, well, I'll show you. So if I cupped it like that, it's round. If I have my hands flat like that, I'm going to start doing it, it kind of goes a weird shape. So you get this kind of pointy bit in the middle, like, and it's kind of like a, a disc like that. So always cup your hands. That's a, if there's nothing else that you've learned today, it's just how to roll the ball. It, oh, this is the tiger, is it? No, that's a lion. The lion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm reading all these questions. You're really not paying attention. I'm Lizzie was Listen, here I'm now. Busy clammed up here with oh, Clarence the say hi to guys. So I've got to say hi to my children. <laughs> I don't know if you're still awake, kids, but hi, Lizzie. <laughs> hello, Stephanie. <laughs> hi, Jensen. <laughs> Jensen's my nephew. So I've got to say hello. Oh, bless. Yeah, he's going to be one of these now. He's going to join hi, the team. girls. <laughs> yeah, then they're good night, girls. They're always good. So, um, like I say, Lizzie misses me for like, if I've gone for five minutes, she's always like, Mummy, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> I get little messages and notes. What about hippos? Where, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> after my list. Right, there's one lion. Love sloths. I like sloths. cats. Oh, they're coming out with them all. Do you know what? Hippo is a savannah animal. Sloths, I don't, Skippy. Oh, I love Skippy. Skippy, Skippy the kangaroo. Do you do? Oh, at least I love that. Don't think I ever watched that. Program. Showing how old I am now, Skippy. I did what I do know Skippy. I just didn't watch it. I don't think it's a bit like Lassie as well. I didn't really watch Lassie. Oh, I used to love Lassie. <laughs> Isn't that? Those were the programs in my day. Wasn't that the stray? Right. Lassie was that the stray dog? It was a collie, wasn't it? 
Yeah, no, but was it? Yeah. A, it didn't have a home, did it? No. Which is so out. Like anyone who's owned a dog will know that dog will not look that way if it was an unkept, like living on its own. <laughs> it's definitely a well-groomed dog. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm just going to give her this little eye. Skippy oh. the Bush Kangaroo, that's what Anne said. Ah. Yeah, that's what it was called. I used to love watching that programme. And Debbie Hargreaves says, just in case she hasn't hinted enough, mm. she has to make a Pepper and George <laughs> plate tomorrow. So, <laughs> so well, I think I, I can't home, tell or... you about that hint any bigger <laughs> now. And we don't care oh, whether they're in the animal. savannah or not. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's got a mole now. Um, what am I doing? Giving him a news. Oh, we've got Flipper. I loved Flipper as well. Oh, Flipper's a good one. Yeah, yeah I watched Flipper. Definitely not a Savannah animal. It was Daktari. And I <laughs> no, I think we've moved on I to Australia. Lamb though. Chops. I remember Lamb Chops. Lamb mm -hmm. Chops? Yeah. I've not seen that one. No. Well, it, I, think, I think we're talking in the age group that I'm in, Jerry. I'm not that far so, behind. Eh? Really. I'm not that far behind, am I? You are. How old are you? Mm, um, 21 plus a few years. <laughs> 21 years behind. <laughs> Let's give him a little nose. Mm. I like a bigger nose. So sometimes like, if you give the animals certain characteristics... Should have done the big five. Which is the big five? Well, I don't know. That's the, uh, the giraffe, the elephant, the tiger. No, the lion. Mm. Monkey? What's the big five then? Uh, I was going to do a monkey, but I'm just, just I'm doubting whether they live. Well, it looks in the like we're going to do Peppa Pig now. We're going right in the other area. Have I got any pink? Zebras. I've got a bit of pink. Zebras. Oh, zebras. Do we have time for a, oh, I don't know. After a dodgy uh, right. horse last time, we might. I know. Not. Well, they're going to sit like this, so he should be okay. But zebras. They are from the savannah, aren't they? They're the prey. Oh, oh look, he looks like. Now, does anyone remember the '80s cartoon with those um? I think it's a bumblebee lion thing. Bumble lion? What the? What's it called? I've got that. Do you nice. remember it? What? It looked like a bear. It looked like a yellow lion, but it looked like half bumblebee. Oh. Can't remember. Were they the woozles? Maybe I don't know. Can't yeah. remember what they're called. I've got some. Uh, I don't know. No I've, woozles have been. I've got food. that pink sugar paste that's just coming. Oh yes, so please. Yes, please. Yes, please. So we'll can't make, tell you yet. We've got some new sugar paste just coming. Secret, top secret. Secret, secret, not top right, secret. Right. So I'm oh, just gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Quickly make this so I'll keep this down if you keep it at this angle. Oh, sorry, I've moved it down. <laughs> I can't see anything. Right, let's go back to overhead. So, when I make the uh, main, I'll give you promise not to move it. I won't, I'm not gonna move. <laughs> when I do the main for this one, I like to just make lots of these little sausages. I can do so that. I'll start off well. behind the knee. I'll give you a bit more room. A bit more, oh, all right. Get all the colours you need. Give it a bit of uh, Red, she's got a red dress. So, just pink and red is fine if you've got it. Thank you very much. I'm just going to curl it. You help me green. I Why do I need green? Just checking. What else am I making? Oh, here we go, we've got red. Okay. Thought I was going to make another animal then. Eh? Thought I was going to make another new animal. This one's special for Debbie Hargreaves. That's a lovely haircut. I know, isn't it? It looks a bit like um, a conductor, like a music conductor. So these colours that um, Jerry's going to use, these are new sugar paste. I don't know when they're going to be launched. I've got to speak to the rep tomorrow, but they've just been dropped off today. Ooh. Curly hair. Right, now I am going to move him because I've got to put him on his body before I can do the rest of it. Oh, it's looking cute. It is. Oh, so no, did anybody want to peg a pig with their savannah animals? Peg a pig? <laughs> a pig. A pig. <laughs> did I say peg a pig? You said peg a pig, did yeah. I? That's funny. <laughs> it's letting late, isn't it? Our brains aren't catching up with our mouths. I'm actually, I'm quite surprised I've not let out another slip. <laughs> <laughs> I've done near miss this morning. Right, let's see. There you go. It's better. Oops. Curl it the wrong way. So I like making his little curly hair. That looks cute, doesn't it? Very nice. Very nice, Jerry. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you very much. So again, just you can kind of work with this and see how. What I you have to do say, so. Jerry, I am well and truly impressed with them. I love them. Thank you very much. Absolutely love them. As I say, we are rushing, but you get the gist. <laughs> just 
just going to do one more because I don't want it to be too heavy and his head will start lopping off to one side. <laughs> there you go. A little they bit of a perm beautiful. for that one. He's our 80s aren't lion. Aren't they beautiful? Ta-da! Aren't they? Look at them. There, I'll keep, to there you go. To me, so to you. It's, it's a show well, Jerry. <laughs> right. She's been there working all day, doing a class, and then comes straight right. on and knocks these out for you. Yeah, well, I do what I can, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Try my best. Right, let me just... Um, I will do pepper. Just let me get the lace out so I can show you quickly because I don't want to run out of time. Where's my lace? Oh. <laughs> well, they absolutely love it. So let's take the Madam Butterfly because that was the one that I said I dusted the gold into the mat. So I'm just going to flip it over because it's easier to um, peel off. Ta -da. Where's the mat? Oh, it's there. So you know it's ready when um, it starts coming away itself. So if you have your spreading net, if that's easier, just press it down on the table and you're gently peeling it away. So if you, as long as you put your knife to the table, you're not pulling at it too hard so it won't rip. And you can see the gold coming through now and the green also on the areas where I hadn't painted gold. So it's quite nice to get two-tone effect. So because that gold is such a strong colour, no it doesn't matter what colour I started off with um, over the top, it's, it didn't show through. So again, just compare this now to the other one. Let's go to that one. Don't need to see that one. Um, if I compare it to the other colour, just grab that from the So Kathy Rose says, Carol, I so love all your Facebook lives. I did Rachel's intro to wedding cakes and loved it. Jerry, you make it look so easy. Mm -hmm. Love your work. Thank you. Right. So here we go. Like you can actually see a bit of like an iridescent sheen to the new butterfly because like if I hold it in the light, it kind of reflects a bit of the green through it. It's like an it's almost nice like a antique so. green. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I like that. So, but the, the difference is, if I rub that, it's not coming off of my hands. So if I transfer that to a cake now, you won't get that bleeding. This one, it comes off of my hands, which means if I put that on a cake, because you've got to wet your cake a little bit to attach it. If you misalign it and you try and pull it off, you might pull off a bit and it run under a white cake or something. Um, so I do recommend that you paste your mat with the dust before you dust it afterwards. Ah, but if it's fantastic. a last minute decision, if it's last minute and you think you've only got white and you need it urgently, mm -hmm. then obviously you can do it that way. And our gold's come out very well there, hasn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. What do you think about on gold? both of do you them, like it's it? very nice. Yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. almost like true match to the the ready-made stuff. Mm -hmm. But like I say, you can use it for other things too. I like this green. Yeah. I think that's my new favourite. I like made a green, green pig. Yeah. I'm going to make so, some more. So, Dale Clark Blackler says, the big five is South African, rhino, leopard, elephant, lion, and buffalo. Wait, hang, hang on, hang on. How many of those have I made? One. Right, and you want <laughs> So, big five. <laughs> Two. Elephant and lion, actually, you made. No, Sorry. no, we're on pepper pigs now. Yeah, we've yeah. worked hard enough. Right, quickly, just show you that other one. So I know it's ready when the, you peel it. Oh, you're going to make a flower with that, aren't you? Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my lion! He's dead. I told you, if he gets too heavy, you have to be careful. So. You've got to prop him up with something. Yeah, yeah I just use that straw because it's a bit thicker. So let's take that off. Pop him the straw in. Is he going <laughs> to. Got a bit drunk. He might push that straw through his head, is he? And it'll be a bit long. Right, we'll see. It'll be all right for now. Yeah. <laughs> support, support. Right, so uh, they, these ones are just going to come off now. So as I say, when I first got them out of the oven, they were a little bit tacky on the underside, so I didn't want to risk them uh, not being fully baked through. This one is okay. Well, actually, we've still got half an hour. I've got plenty of time. I don't think we've ever yeah. been there. Leslie Green says you can't run out of time on Carol's Lives. You just keep going. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'll, I'll stay as long as you want me to be here. It's just whether <laughs> you're going to still be here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Simon. He's going to stay to 11. Uh, <laughs> I've got loads to do me tomorrow. I've got loads to do tomorrow. I've got macarons <laughs> to bake. I've got to I, I, Can you believe it? I'm on delivery service tomorrow. I'm actually going delivering to the college. Postman power. Pardon? <laughs> like postman power. Yeah. I don't know how I dropped oh, myself, that one's not it? ready. I, no, it's not that's not ready. What happened was, when I pasted this one, I didn't put enough on the actual mat. So it means that when I'm peeling it, it's kind of sticking to it. So it's come off. So it does happen. Or it could be that it's not fully dry. That's the other reason. That's coming up a little bit. So, um, yeah, the best thing really is to make sure you are fully dry. 
Otherwise you get little bits missing. And flip it around as well. I'm not even following my own rules right now. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's better. So, like I say, it's coming up a little bit. That's because it's... Well, they all love the animals. Season. They absolutely love them. I thought you would. It's something that you'd probably make a lot of, obviously, when you're oh, making cakes. Your sister's so. watching. Hi, Kat. So Kat's watching and she said, your daughter spotted the lion's head falling off. Oh, yeah, she's she got a good would. eye. She has, she has. That's Lizzie, that. Yeah. Are you enjoying the live, girls? Why are you not in bed? <laughs> <laughs> Get to bed. Don't forget to read. <laughs> Stay off, but I'm not at home. They're telling me I'm not to let you go home. <laughs> Somebody said there's a bedroom upstairs, you can go and sleep in there. Would someone like to tell Lizzie that? <laughs> You'll have murder, Lizzie will come stomping on your door. And they like you it that I always that. throw you in the deep end and you always pull it off, says Dale. You do throw me in the deep end, don't I you? I do, I always Often. throw. I try and throw as many people as I can yeah. in the deep end. Don't I? So when, they, when the guests come, don't I? I always say, oh, can you just do that? Can you do that? Right, great, <laughs> right. can you do that? And it's all got to be on real cake. Yeah. <laughs> You can see the face where they go, I want to do a dummy. No. You see, I don't like working with dummies. No. I find it, um, I don't know what it is. I think you, they're, they're actually harder for me to cover than I think they're harder. They're light and they just wobble around, don't they? Yeah. Well, I, I said, uh, I Kat, just says, Kat says, your daughters are not letting her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Is my nephew asleep? Is Jensen asleep? Because he's not been sleeping today. Right, let me see. I'm going to put a ball here in the middle just to help me build this flower. So to start off with, we're going to start with the biggest leaves, uh, sorry, biggest petals. So this is called fantasy flower, so it's not meant to be botanically correct. Um, what you would do is just kind of squish it into the buttercream. In the buttercream. <laughs> it's late. Into the um, sugar, paste. sugar paste. Thank you. So, and I said, only a little bit of water is enough because you, you don't want too much water. If you saturate it too much, what happens is it just disintegrates. So, work as you go. Let's see. It's a bit like building a, um, a rose. I'm trying to look at what which order these are going in. Some of them are big. And, so, if you kind of start layering it up, then you just go around like this. And if I'm just tapping that middle bit, so it's quite easy to build these up. And because you've got the ball of sugar paste at the bottom, it kind of helps to lift. They look very effective on cakes. So. Yeah. So you could make this like this now, let it dry a bit, and then put it to the side of the cake. Um, we do sell this mat. It's called the, um, is it called the feathers? Uh, fantasy flowers. Fantasy one. flowers. Just pass this my stock list there. So. Yeah. Oh, I didn't write it on how many we have in, but it should be on the website there. I gave I gave Jerry a list of all the ones that have got loads of stock in, and she uses the one that we don't. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> it's got, it's called got fantasy it. flowers. <laughs> what was in your box? So I'm just going to keep building and pushing in. And if I run out of stock, don't worry. I'm placing an order with the company tomorrow. Anyhow. Do these ones because they're a little bit broken on the middle. So, oh, it's gone a bit whisky whiffy. Little please. So, by the time you get to the middle, you should have the smallest flowers. Is that fallen off? Right. So, the smallest ones will be right in the middle. And if you have any like um, anything in the middle you want to add to it, like those stamens, you can always add a little bunch of stamens in the centre, just thread it through. Oops, so a few ladies are saying they've got this mat and never used it. Yeah, it's nice. So they're very chuffed. So that was Pam, so, Pam Hallam Wedley. Ta -da. Da -da, da -da. Ta da So that's what they look like. Looks a bit like a lily. Not a lily. Water, well, water lily. Mm. You know? So um, if you like that try. I'll tell you what looks really just nice in the there. Back side. Yeah. Uh, if you've got the Karen Davies brooch mould, yeah, I was thinking great, about, isn't it? If you've got yeah. the Karen Davies brooch mould and you make the brooches, I've got one in my drawer. There, you're looking in, for oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I actually wanted it for the class this afternoon. And I was rummaging like a maniac. Oh, it's right there on top. <laughs> so clearly, I couldn't see it in class. Mm -hmm. oh, those moulds are heavy in that box, aren't they? Yeah. 
good quality molds. This is one of my favourite molds, actually. I yeah. do use this one an awful lot. But this look, these look lovely, and you could lustre it with our new gold. Uh, yeah. So we'll get some of our rejuvenators for it out. Do you want me to get some out for you? Yes, please. Am I in your way? No, no. Oh. I'll have them back to you. So, just rolling a little bit of fondant or sugar paste, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. Because we're using gold, I've just used um, a teddy bear brown. And I'm using this big mold, uh, this big mold here, and just dropping it in. Oh, it can be a bit bigger than that. <laughs> That's good. See how big the centre of that. Um, flower is yeah i like this one because it's got this kind of you can do a small flower in the middle you don't have to use the whole brooch so when you use your um mold you can just quick just give it a quick dust and then just take it out pop your sugar paste in so as i said i'm only going to use the smallest section of this bit sorry i need you didn't say i think it does look nice with the big ones as well um yeah no it fits it's just that I don't want to squash the flower. So that's what it'll look like when you pop it in there, like that. So before, if I'm unhappy with that, just ping it out a second whilst I paint it. Just do it in the lid, Jerry. What, oh, right there. <coughs> that's what I do with all mine. <coughs> Not wasting it then. That's the thing when you tap it like that. Yeah, you know, I've it with a big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to put a bit of rejuvenator um, into the lid there to mix this into a paste. And you do want it um, liquidy, but not too runny, because otherwise yeah. it doesn't pick up. And obviously, it's too thick, it's going to be streaky. So it should be quite fluid when you can paint. And you can add more powder or less powder um, as you go. There you go, that's a nice colour. Nice. So just let that evaporate before I put the lid back on. I don't want to soak in. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Teresa says, "Hey Carol, uh, hey Carol, you're looking very cute tonight. I would never have thought I looked cute. <laughs> it's even Simon's like, what? That's another typo, isn't it? <laughs> have you heard that? Another typo. <laughs> what could it mean if it wasn't cute? Eh? What could it mean if you're not cute? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking very cute tonight. <laughs> right, there's Funny. my. So I put the Simon's face is well baffled. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, like I say, if you leave that to dry, what happens is, what if you obviously you can make your um, that sugar paste at the back a bit smaller, and then you can just put a bit of royal icing on and attach it to the side of a cake yeah. like that, um, and it will it will sit nice and it will stay in that shape. So that's quite pretty. So, I'm going to pop that at the front here. No, I'm not. We'll put it on the side. Just pop it, it on the... It oh, go on. Did you paint it, that? Yeah. You didn't put much paint on, did you? Do you want me to put more on? I'll give, give me it. a minute to give... Give it me, I'll do it. <laughs> For goodness sake. Hey? Eh? Yeah. Right, go on. Not you really. do it. Well, she's, she's, I've, I've been cheap. She's been made a very watery version. <laughs> we were having a we were having a laugh at this yesterday, this morning when we were doing my um, class because I'm known for being cheap. I like to keep it. <laughs> it's profit. <laughs> Everything's profit. So I want to keep as much um, money in my pockets when I'm making stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, don't use too much. You can get extras. Use that as well. Looking after your stuff. I think we need some gold on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give this another clean up. When you do use this board, make sure it's completely dry before you start rolling on it. Otherwise, the non-stick won't work. So it's got to be completely dry. Yeah, well, you have been listening, haven't you, Jerry? Yeah. Karen reminds me as well in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> right, There's nothing worse cookie. when somebody comes to use a pink board and then it all sticks. I had a lady ring me and she message and she went, what have I done wrong? It's all sticking. Oh. I said, have you just washed your board? She said, yeah, so go dry it then. No good, is it? What, is it from red? Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Let's talk about Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig is a weird one because she's got these eyes that, in the cartoon, they're both on the same side of the head, and she's looking this way. Uh, yeah. But if you're buying toys, sometimes it looks like that. Sometimes they're on either side of the head. So which one do you want me guys to make? So uh, can we do a quick vote now? And uh, I'll yeah, just make the body whilst well to... you're doing that. All right. So right, the body. There, is... there you go, Jeremy. That's what happens when you paint it gold. But Stop being so freaking When the tight. experts do it, <laughs> it looks like this, okay. Right, overhead. 
There you go, sparkly and gold. I actually like the the combo with that gold and that green. It looks green. lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very, very, it's very sparkly. And as I say, it's free. It is three D. So from this angle, you can't tell, but that's it'll stay like that. So Marv, it was the new Wonderlust, Wonder Dust. It's just that Jerry was very tight. She did a very <laughs> watered down version. I'm cheap. <laughs> My name's Cheapy Chang. Can't help it. Right. So let's do. Oh, this is quite nice. Lovely, isn't it? It's got um, quite a good stretch. Oh, Ooh, here we go. So this is a new sugar paste testing. that we're going to be releasing soon. And I reckon you're all going to love it. Am I so first one to try it? I'll give Jerry... Uh, pardon? Am I first one to try it? Yeah, I'll give you the white to take. I'll just give you two yeah, kilos yeah, yeah. of white right to right take now. home. <laughs> yeah, so I'll give Jerry two kilos of white to take home. Yeah. And then I've got the colours here. But that, uh, they only gave me a small amount of colours. So she's the first... That's all we've got. That's the only bit of red and That's the only bit of pink. Well, Pete Pepper here, I think, at the end, eh? Yeah. Uh, so just make a round ball first and then uh, the keep them on the table. There's Is the dress. Red? She's got a red dress, I think. Oh, what are you making there, then? A dress, a body. Oh, a dress. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. oh, yeah. So if I just rub it on the table, it gives it a flat edge to sit on. Okay. I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking about... Um, Her oh, face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are we making right. a big pick at Peppa Pig then? Well, uh, that's that the size all the of red body. Then? All no, the sample no, no, no. All right. I kept you some. <laughs> you just told me not to be cheap. <laughs> Can't we? <laughs> right, legs. Let's do legs. So, a little bit of pink. And again, so, this is the new pink. Say eyes on the same side of the head, please, okay. I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Right. Debbie said she's only ever seen the same side of the head version. Yes, yeah, so you, you agree though, right? Oh, she's Michelle Shellhorn wants it on both sides. But see, as it's Debbie who's requested, we'll have to go with Debbie's request. Yeah, sorry. She's making the cake tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So when we do pepper, just give it a little sausages for her legs. And then she's got little black shoes. Or if you want to put her in those... Muddy those uh, yellow boots. You can put her in little yellow boots. So, I go like that. I've got black, so I'm going to use black. So tiny little like pebbles. You can call them pebbles. And just stick them on the end. I so say it's sticking quite easily. But if you find that it's not sticky, just add a tiny bit of water using a brush. Oh, those lovely little skinny legs. Thank you. Ah, pigs with skinny legs. That's not right, is it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Right, so I'm just going to move her into the middle of it. When I go with the grandkids, I actually like watching Peppa Pig, which is really bad, isn't it? <laughs> so you see Peppa Pig and you don't know what, yes. I don't remember what she looks like, can I? I just know she's pink. I know Daddy Did Pig's I? got that so little eel colour. I didn't even know she wore clothes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, George has got like a blue round body. Is All I know is, does George carry a, drag a dinosaur? Yeah, a dragon the green dinosaur. Yeah. That's all he ever says, isn't it? It just goes on about dinosaur. Yeah. Rah. Oh, <laughs> I haven't watched Pepper in a long time. You'd be worried if I did, because the kids are nine and ten, <laughs> so nearly eleven. <laughs> what are you watching, Mum? Nothing. <laughs> I've got an excuse now. Jensen's my little nephew, and he's going to be watching this in a couple of years' time. Yeah. I'm getting into practice. Right, uh, arms. So arms, sausages first, and then... I always do it with three fingers. I don't actually know how many fingers she's got, but I could cut one and two. So I'll do it on the other side as well. One and two. And then you're going to twiddle these fingers a little bit just to round them off because they look a bit sharp or a bit square. She's got to make the dinosaur as well. What? <laughs> she's got to make Pepper, George, and the dinosaur. I've got to remember what, to make, what the dinosaur looks <laughs> like. Have to, but Jenny yeah, no, have we're to. not. No, we're just. Oh, right. I thought you were. Oh, that's no, another challenge. Not you. Like, oh. No. Who's doing that? Uh, Debbie. 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 Yeah. So if you see that, they look a bit like tree things, what it looks like branches. So if you're only making stick man, there you go. And actually, I would actually make her body a little bit taller than this, but I've not got time now, so. Are you going to do this possible. while you're watching Buttercream Flowers tomorrow, Debbie? What do you mean she's not <laughs> sleeping tonight? She's going to make it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so then she can then watch your Buttercream Flowers tomorrow. <laughs> right, so this is the pink. And again, we are going to put the eyes on the side of the, the same side of the head. It smells nice, that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's, nice. But I just, it's quite firm, so it's good. It's good for structure. So, ugh, nearly dropped it then. One and only sample, I nearly threw it on the floor. That's what I think of your sugar paste. <laughs> so Michelle Webster has said, how long will the flower last 
uh, once it's made because she, she's wondering in how far in advance she could make them um they last a while so that if you see the princess cake that i made the blue one was made before christmas mm. and it's still in good form i mean she is cake so obviously i wouldn't cut into her but the actual lace part it stays as it is so you can see on this side here nothing's changed and they have a long shelf life so if you're gonna make one ahead of time just put it in um a little um acrylic box or something you know i have these um display boxes you sell them mm. for cakes and i just buy occasionally a few of them just to pop these items in to keep them out the, uh, free from dust but they go by the same sell by date as your uh, cake lace so if you look on the packaging on your cake lace if it says 2022 that's the same sell by date once it's made right let's go back to pepper so for pepper what you need to do is make a little sausage like this first I've got an overhead, thank you. And then um, you need to kind of figure out where the nose will be. So I'm gonna kind of just use my finger to kind of nudge it a bit in the right direction. And then so I think, well, that's quite nice. It's a good, that's a good angle. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna give it a little roll. That's the, under the chin, so to speak. So this is a new sugar paste and it should be launched at the end of March. It may be sooner, but I think it's the end of March. I can't say much about it at the moment, but the samples just arrived tonight. John brought them in. I've been waiting for them since Christmas, but they've um, arrived tonight. John just brought them in tonight. So I've just cut out the end of the snout and then we're going to pop two holes in the end. So if you do it properly, Pepper's got like a darker pink lining all the way around it. So if you can be bothered tonight, Debbie, you might want to do a little thin extrusion of sugar paste to go around it. But I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, her smile goes at the side of her face. Like I said, she's a bit weird when she does side-faced eyes. So you can use a knife, you can use your dressing tool just to kind of shape the mouth. And then her eyes are going to be here. So one there, and one there. But all right. And also a cheek. She's got a little bit of a darker colour for the cheek. So ugh, makes a difference when I've gone, for, gone back to the other sugar paste. That's so much softer. Right, let's pop that in there. Is anyone else singing the theme tune in the head? Because I am. Where's my white gone? Right. <laughs> there it is. So we're just crunching some white for the eyeballs. Um, and again, if you want to, you can, again, she gets this like eyeliner around her eye, so she has a, a darker shade of pink before the eyeball goes in. So I'm going to drop that in first. Have you done many pe pepper bags? Have I done many? I might have done. God. Debbie's saying, Debbie's just saying, you can tell you've done a few of these, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite an iconic uh, character in general. Don't so... worry, I've deleted the scammer. Don't worry, I just saw it come up and as it came up, I've deleted the comment. It actually wasn't quite nice, that was it? Did anybody manage to read it? But I've, dele I've deleted him, but I just didn't get a chance to uh, block him. I deleted the comment before I blocked. You know when you get those scammers up like and they leave their telephone number? No. Have you not I've seen them? But they, do, they, do a po they do a post. They do a post. They write right. a post and then it says contact such a thing with the phone number on. Oh, right. Oh, can you use this pen? I did not know that. So you can either use um, a little ball of sugar paste. So I'm just going to go in with this pen here. You can see Papa. Uh, George is yeah. the same. Geraldine says she doesn't know the tune. Could you sing it for her? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's not much to that one, actually, is there? Go on, Carol. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> lies, know it. lies. <laughs> right, so Pepper is more or less done now. So I'm going to pop her onto the uh, body. Can you still see the comment? I deleted one. Did they do Back. one? Did I miss a comment? It's a bit taller. I'm just going to snip. Oh, that's on the floor. Um, Peppa, Peppa. I can't see it. I'll find it afterwards. I'm not going to talk about it now because we're getting to the end of Jen uh, Jerry's live. So I'll find it after. So her ears go on the top. So just put a bit of water on the top there before you add those ears. And again, you can use a ball tool or your dressing tool to help you stick it on. Oops, who's stayed on since 8 o'clock? 
The Volgany. You really still yeah. here? Oh gosh, she's drunk. There's still about 324 people watching. Well, hey, that's because you all wanted to see Peppa, isn't it? Uh, Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> you kept the ratings no, going. No, it's because it's an amazing life. Right, this is what Peppa should look like. But look at her, she's looking sad because she's too oh. heavy. So what you need to do, and uh, I'm going to do this because I don't want to ruin her. I'm just going to take her head off for a moment and sit her on the side like that. So I want the body to firm up a bit more before then you put it on. Um, so you can, if you're making it tonight, just make them in two parts and then in the morning put the head on in, and then you won't, you won't have that problem. Because if I do it now, she is going to be a little bit drunk and she'll sway over like the um, the lion. As you see, lion's fine now. He's okay. Oh, I've mixed them. No. What have you done? Nothing. <laughs> right, there's the <laughs> new stuff. I'm going to back those back up so you've got those samples again. And then, what time are we on? How are we doing? We're done. Woo! Five to ten. Well Pepper done. Pepper doesn't have a tail, I don't think. Who doesn't have a Pepper. tail? Who? Pepper. Oh, I don't know. So just so that's why I've not done one on the pig. I don't think she has one. Right. Well, hey. So I'm gonna leave. Ooh. Hasn't she done amazing? Move you over. Right. I'm trying to look for that comment, but I can't see it. So I'll have a look afterwards, anyhow. Oh, but she does. Does she have a tail? Does she? Yeah. Have a does look. she? Oh, so she Oops, does. Sorry. Right, sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, little curly tail I then. See that as well. So she's gonna use a little curl. Oh, she does, yeah. <laughs> well, something I knew. I've made how many peppers, and I did not know that. And you didn't give him a tail. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's not been a kid who's cried then. Hmm? There we go. So they've all absolutely loved this live. So thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. Jerry, so we've got to book a date for your next class, then, haven't we? Yes. So, so I've got a few classes to sort out. So ladies, we've got loads of classes this week. I do hope you're all on Claire Corbett's class on Wednesday. So Claire's going to show you how to make um, royal ice biscuits. They're beautiful. Now Claire's been a Claire was one of the first ladies to come and did uh, classes for us um, when COVID first started. She did ask you all what did you want to learn, and you said royal ice biscuits. So that's what she's doing. She's also got a couture cupcake, so I hope you come and join those as well. It's an amazing day. So that's on Wednesday's class. Um, and then we've also got the horse class. The horse class. With Hannah Edwards Singh. Yeah, with Legionist. Hannah. We've, we've got a busy three weeks, to be fair, because we've got the horse class. We've got the baby changing bag. We've got, then got the Mother's Day class. And then we've also got Ollie the Chop introduction class. Oh, is that right? Eh? Hey. right? Yeah, so uh, we've got a lot on over the next couple of weeks. So we're going to keep you very, very busy. So if you want to sign up for classes, you know where they are. They're on the Sugar and Crumbs website. Please do join them and join on the day, even if you don't want to do them on the day. Just join and watch. You learn, you learn so much stuff. It's absolutely amazing. You do. And also because it's coming up to Mother's Day, and I don't know if you've noticed, I've certainly noticed, there's a lot of treat boxes that are going out at the moment because people... Well, they're a bit stuck in ideas, aren't they? Yeah. And in general, yeah. it's nice to have a little box of everything. And, and that's what's going... That's the new trend at the moment. Yeah. So the cookies, the cupcakes, the bouquet of flowers, all little things added together. You can make your own little treat boxes. There's yeah. still time. You know, yeah. people still order. So tomorrow afternoon, ladies, I'm going to be here doing a live at 2 o'clock. And I'm going to do a sugar sheet cake, also using the Katie Sue honeycomb air moulds. Then on Wednesday, we've got Claire Corbett in for the day doing her class. It's going to be an amazing day. She's such a lovely lady, Claire. So those of you who've been in her classes before, if you remember, she did the Cakesicles class, the Macron class, and she did the um, wedding, wedding cupcake class. So the, no, the vintage cupcake class. So she's a lovely lady. So she's in on Wednesday if you want to sign up for that one. And um, we've now got a new, a new thing on our website now. So if you put all your classes into the basket, you can actually pay over free payments with PayPal. So um, you can put, but you only put classes in. So just put all your classes in and then that way you can get all your classes and you can pay over payments. I think you can do more than free payments, but it's up to you to decide if you want to do those. And then on Thursday, I'm in, I'm going to be showing you how to, what am I going to be doing? Wednesday night, I'm doing the cupcake bouquet in my class. Now, my class is actually for the 12th of March, but I'm doing a sneaky one on Wednesday night. I've got John on comments. So if you're in the cupcake bouquet class, John's on comments. I'm sure he's just going to love doing that, isn't he, Simon? <laughs> the bouquet balls. class. And then on Thursday, before we go live at 8 o'clock, I'm going to do... Um, a little live at seven o'clock 
with the cupcake box. So it's a cupcake bouquet box, and we're going to wrap. We're going to wrap it up as well. Yeah. So we're going to do Doesn't that. Doesn't have so a lot weird from that angle. Yeah, turn it around. No, the other way. Turn it around. There you yeah. go. She's yeah. a bit more. Normal. So isn't that amazing? That. So there you go. How cute, isn't the it? Lovely. Pepper everybody? is a strange animal, um, depending on how you make her. But yeah, we we all love and know her. As soon as you see her, you can recognise her, can't you? Yeah. So, <laughs> well done, Jerry. Thank absolutely you very much. amazing. They all absolutely loved it. So they've had a great night. Thank you very much. You've worked very hard today, young thank lady. You. Really well, thank hard. you for having me. As I say, I don't get to do these if it wasn't for you guys. So, uh, fully appreciate it. Um, we're on time as well, which is... We're on time. So we're just going to book in Jerry's Bodies and Limbs class. We'll get that one out of the way. Yeah. That's another class. And I've also got Hannah's class ready for the um, Spaghetti Bolognese class. She's done that as well. So that would be good fun as well. So we've got Bodies and Limbs, Spaghetti Bolognese. I've got to get that on the website over the... It won't be this weekend. Um, and what class are you thinking of doing after Bodies and Limbs? So I've got two more lined up that I think one of them you're really going to like. Uh, it's, it's great for kids and I've got sneaky peeks of those on my Instagram. Do you know, should we, should we talk about those? Do you want to? Yeah, why don't yeah? you say? So you can, we're going to, what I made was a juice box which you can drink out oh, of. Oh yes, yes so, you're telling me, yeah. Um, I've not made a sample for Carol to see but you can see similar ones that are on my Instagram. Um, so I think that would be a nice one to do and the kids absolutely love it. My two went berserk when I made one for them and then um, I think, like I say, if you want to do animals, we can do an in-depth one with a certain collection of animals and we can do those in more detail so you're going to get a better finish. I think that would be good. Yeah. So I think, um, I think the juice, when you say, she says the juice box, she means like a carton of juice. Yeah, so, so you can like actually drink from your it. Your apple juice, your orange juice. She was, she was yeah. talking about Ribena, but I don't think we should do Ribena. No. Well, I think what would I'd like to do is do a generic juice box where you get to choose what juice you want and uh, I can show you how to do the front as well so you can tailor it for yourself because I think it's quite cute to make your own style juice boxes. Um, did do one, so the Ribena one I did around Christmas time and then I did two more since then as well for customers. So um, they are on there, you can have a look. But yeah, so to make your own one would be quite cool. The animals, I think that's a nice idea because lots of people would make them anyway. If you've got any suggestions for what kind of animals you want to make, <laughs> tell Carol <laughs> she can well, sort it out you could have a date making loads of animals not being funny the way you, how fast you can get them out yeah well I say well when I get them made with quality as well so I want to do show you how to do it technically um, but you'll definitely come out with quite a few we can make 12 heads in a day and I'm going through other things as well like colour tones we can definitely do that with this sort of collection um, yeah and then some people suggested like 3D animals but you see I, I don't want to not that I don't want to do it What's just that what's name uh, Instagram is Studio Eight Cakes, so it's the number eight. <laughs> like with two words. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the name Studio Eight from? Um, my house number is number eight, and oh, eight's right. a lucky number for Chinese, so ah. kind of parent. But no, actually, when I went to look at my house, that wasn't why I chose the house. It just that was the number that it took. when we right. actually went to the house. Oh, it's the lucky number, so we took it. Um, hopefully, it has been lucky. <laughs> well, I feel lucky anyway, so that's yeah, good. That's good. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, you can find me on Instagram or on Facebook and uh, yeah so we did think with, there were people who were asking about 3D sculpted animals and uh, I do make them but I haven't decided on what I want to make or whether there's anything so again if you have suggestions and you want me to show you how to do in a class forward those ideas to Carol Cats and, and dogs are coming up so they can see uh, what you'd like to make yeah so I'm more than happy to do it just, I thought, oh, you've got so many classes to go, I don't know how many you can join or whether you've got time to do them all. But whatever, if the demand is there, I will ha more than happily help you with it. Um, but the, the bodies is definite, that one's definitely going to be launched at some point. So yeah. you will get to make the bodies to match the heads. Um, and I said, heads are great for the doll class as well, so if you want to do the princess. Um, it all comes hand in hand. Hand in hand, yeah. Yeah. So Alison Morris is apologising that she hit the cross face at some point. If ever you hit oh. the, and she has rectified it though, but just in case you ever hit the angry face or the sad face and by accident, because we all do it when we're yeah. finger pressing, just quickly um, do it again with a love heart and that cancels it out. And nobody would know. So Alison, you didn't need to say a word. We would never have known. Yeah. I don't take any of that to heart. <laughs> so you're okay. Um, yeah, so 
think that concludes our evening. That's it. There we go. So well done, Jerry. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us, everyone. And thank you, Simon. Yes, thank you, you Simon, know. with and the red beard. Don't forget to like and share. And don't forget to <laughs> like and share. And I'll see you at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.